team. Dennis, for the start of the game, back to you. Thanks, Barra. The umpires tonight, Allen, Scroop and Coates. And away we go. The opening bounce, Gardner and Everett. Neither touched the Ooh. ball, fell at their feet. Opportunity for Philip Matera, who started inside the centre square. Thompson, a hand pass out wide. This is Hayes, prods it inside the 50. Fist on it from Jakovic, picked up by McKenna. Banfield from half back, smothered off the boot by Thompson. Walton taken down. Now a chance for Zilla. Kicks back towards full forward over the top. Metropolis. Rapunda knocked it down. Metropolis sock is off the ground. Walton smothered off the boot there by Reed. Rapunda picks it up. Boots it back towards midfield. High bounce. Jeez. Hudson got a hand to it. Sliding in there. Doing well was Kemp. White. Young's over the ball. Backing out Donnelly. Found it at his feet. Now he hit Hudson, I think, in the face. It ricochets out towards right half back. Everett. Interesting start, this one. The kick from Everett down towards half forward. Good mark taken in front by Walton. The umpire's clearly not going to pay uh, too many free kicks tonight. Mitchell White, very unlucky. On the lead, Heatley. The old eagle. Good lead by Heatley. McIntosh picking Heatley up. You see the uh, Donnelly kick and a desperate smother. Did uh, hit Hutchins right in the face, but Heatley very quick off the mark, a good solid leader. And McIntosh, we know, has been a bit sore on the knees, and that's really going to test his pace off the mark tonight. Game number 56, he played his 50th against the Eagles back in round seven. 23 goals on the season, kicks from about 47 metres. Normally very reliable, and this is no exception. Great start for the Saints. Well, he's just uh, one of the great converters for a shot at goal in the competition. And uh, he hasn't had all that many times uh, this season where he's started as the genuine full forward uh, with the rotation that Tim Watson has had uh, going up forward. It has limited his opportunities. He's had a couple of injury problems also through the season. But you can also see there Shane Wakeland starting up in the forward line. He's being picked up by Glenn Jakovic. So the Saints having to throw around a couple of their key players to uh, rebuild the, the height in their forward line. The Saints by a goal. Everett has to wait. Spikes it down towards half forward. In fact, it wanders out towards the wing. Here's a chance for Thompson. Got it from Begley. Goes over the top. Nicely done by Zilla. Back to Thompson. Under the pump. Hand passes back towards the wing and Hayes. He's in trouble. Hackett. Reliable defender. Kicks down towards half forward. And there's the man. Harvey. No one on the mark. That's a luxury. Harvey. Picks it back towards the middle. Gathered on the half volley by Heatley. Can he boot his second? He spins around. It's out to the right. Hangs it out there. Kicks it behind. Well, again, Heatley's just leading McIntosh out. Robert Harvey's kick falling short, which uh, allowed the Eagles a little bit of breathing space. Metropolis, very close to the boundary line. Centimeter perfect. McKenna. Ryan McKenna under a cloud during the week. Battling with that knee injury. Squares the ball across the goal face. Metropolis, who made his debut against the Saints and promptly did it six goals in that game. Comes back to Reed. Has marked the ball where McKenna was. From the defensive 50 cents play up towards the wing then. Big leap from the back by Hayes. Got it on the ground. Cast in the role of a rover. Everett. Slips the hand pass to McLaren. The short pass is on to Walton. Walton about 65 metres out from goal. Looks for Heatley again. Awkward bouncing ball. They swamp him. Whistle. Ball up. Yeah, they're going to make sure Heatley wasn't going to get that ball out. You see the Eagles players very desperate. McIntosh was first one there. Other players right, making sure the ball was locked in. Good desperation by the Eagles to start. But St Kilda still getting a fair bit of the footy. Bounce about 25 metres out from the Saints attacking goal. Doing all the attacking. Jakovic only as far as Beveridge. Thompson across to Hayes. That may have come off a boot. This could well be a mark. Well done there by Harvey. Feeds it back towards Zilla. Could have been taken high. Shrugs away though. Smothered off the boot brilliantly by McKenna. Picked up by Reed. Back to Zilla. At close quarters to Thompson. A centre and kick. Everett up he goes. Almost. Spilt it. Walton. Beveridge. Bain's a hand pass, bought himself some time, but the kick is a shocker. Out of bounds. 
Well, it was very close to a mark, this one. Uh, let's see if he controls the football. You could make a case for it. Punch came just uh, slightly after he'd uh, taken full control. Jankovic, Wakeland fell at their feet. Reed almost holding the ball. Jankovic emerges with it. Kicks it straight up in the air. Coming through McKenna on the angle, just knocks it across the boundary line. Dan, I'll give you the bench for West Coast. They've made a change already. Jason Ball off the ground. Chad Morrison into the forward line. A smaller forward line for West Coast. Also on the bench, Wooden, Crabb and Andrew Williams. Thanks, Barrett. So a storm likely later tonight. Early goals could be important. Wakeland knocks it down. Thompson in everything. Rintel dragged him down. Beveridge goes in. Held to it. Umpire Alan Wanson. Luke Beveridge, number 27. Bounce just inside the 50 then. Rucks go at it. Wakeland very high. On the 50, Harvey. As he carried forward. Oh, someone having their say. Meantime, Wakeland right on the 50. Thought about it. Settles. The Smothers have been very good so far. That time it was Jakovic. Beveridge had the ball knocked away. This is Braun. Nicely done. Braun hard against the boundary line. Kicks it up towards the wing. Philip Matera. Burke almost got him. Donnelly's got it now. Forward of the wing. Look for Cummings over the top. Should have marked it. It's on the deck in front. Morris in a half chance. Geary goes in against the flow. McLaren comes away nicely. Chips towards centre field. Walton had it pissed away. Recovering nicely. McLaren runs on. Kicks towards the 50. Almost Mitchell. Down in front. Thompson missed it. This is Bourne. Slips it away. Well, Punder kicks it down towards half forward. Chance for the crumb to come to Young. So it did. Young breaks away from half back. Kicks it towards the outer side. Braun leads back in the race. It's obligingly for him. Now Braun back towards the wing. Ill directed though. Young takes the mark. Just a couple of midfield matchups. Uh, Banfield's running with Lenny Hayes. Zilla has got Cousins and Rintoul's going with Thompson. Harvey's Harvey. with McKenna. Harvey down towards the 50 then. Mitchell taking a full rotation. Too high, says the umpire. Gavin Mitchell will get the free. Well, that's the first time the Eagles have gone up forward inside their 50, and it was a good kick to lead from Cummings. He should have held the mark and left Wakeland in his wake and uh, really should have held it. Missed it. Have a look at the inside 50. St Kilda 7 to that. Only one time for the West Coast Eagles. The Eagles defenders are, are fighting very hard. But uh, the weight of the ball going in there so far is certainly making them work hard. And uh, St Kilda dominating number of possessions early in this game, really uh, getting hold of the football and the Eagles are finding it hard to get it off them. No doubting that last free kick. Gavin Mitchell, 31 goals for the season. His best effort in a season with the Dock is 11 in 1996. Handy player. Kicks from about 45. And I think it's OK, it is. They've got their second. Well, it is a good start to St Kilda. They're looking uh, full of run early, Jared. Yeah, I think this uh, compact round suited them in the uh, early passage. They're pretty hard at the footy, but uh, look, due credit to the Eagles as well. They've, their stats for smothering is up enormously, but I think at the moment they're just doing the chasing and all the negative stuff, whereas uh, the Saints have got full control of the football. So they'll be looking forward to getting one out of, their, out of the middle and up into their forward line. Just over 13 minutes till quarter time. And the Saints have made a very good start here. They lead by 13 points. Good judgment shown by Gardner. Across to Cousins to the run of Rintoul. 60 metres out. Shocking kick. Bounces obligingly for Philip Matera who snaps and misses. And John, you were just pointing out that the Saints starting with a structure that Terry Wallace has uh, implemented so successfully this year with everybody sitting back in the goal square. Yeah, pushing all of them right back in the goal square. The only player who was coming up the ground was Robert Harvey, who's on guy McKenna. And obviously, they know McKenna's got a bad knee and he's going to be covering some territory on Robert Harvey. Young short to McLaren, who wants to go. Barely gets the kick off outside the 50. Kemp brilliantly done. Pulls it back towards the middle. Fraser Gehrig is marked about 60 metres out. Spots a man towards the middle. Oh. A couple of them there. Cousins taken high, and he'll get the free kick. Ben Cousins, about 40 metres out. Well, it stands out that little bit of class to see Dean Kemp gets the ball under a lot of pressure. Has got the ability and to find the time to look up, 
spotted Fraser Gehrig on his own, and then it takes a good left foot kick over his shoulder to get it to Gehrig, who then played on quickly to Cousins. Cousins going for distance, pulls it to the left. Yeah, I think it's almost tautology, Dennis. Kemp and brilliantly done. I know what you say. Young, short, judged it nicely. Here's Burke in the back pocket. Big crowd, nice night at the moment. Kick up towards the wing position. Thompson had it fisted away. Dennis is in Kilda bench now. Ozzie Jones, Tim Elliott, Brett Knowles, and Sam Cranage. Gardner did well there. Showed the, the big man, didn't he? Yeah, he did. So boundary throw in. 13 plays two. Gardner hits it high in the air, goes after it again, misses. Kemp, how did he get through there? Oh. Wonderful skills. Rental 45 metres out. Touched towards the line by Wakeland. Daryl Wakeland. Well, that's a couple of opportunities now for Chad Rintoul, who uh, is a very long kick generally. And he's uh, duffed a couple of shots at goal from just inside the 50. Burke accelerates away to Wakeland. So good back in round seven. Cummings just the one goal. And spent some time on the bench as well. And Cummings will win the Coleman medal. Geary got it to Donnelly to White. White a probing kick inside the 50. Speak of the devil. There he is. Scott Cummings is marked 25 metres out. Good solid mark there. He really set himself. Planted the feet, pushed the body into Wakeland. Just got him under the ball. It's good kick by Mitchell White. He's obviously assessed it. Seen that Cummings was just behind, so he gave it a bit more air than normal. And Cummings able to hold Wakeland out underneath the ball. Quite often you see the players just misjudge which kick they're going to use. They try and kick it in short. The defender, if he's in front, runs out and it, takes an easy mark. But Mitchell White just read it so well there and kicked the ball to Cummings' best advantage. So Cummings... Good goal from here. 87 goals for the season. Six last week. It's tight. Behind. Mm. Well, disappointing, the Eagles have had good opportunities to get their first goal on the board, but have let them slip by. And uh, that does dent your confidence a little bit. Uh, players around you start to get a little bit frustrated. They want to get one on the board soon. And a tighter ground uh, means that the zone defence is far more effective. And as such, Matthew Young looking for a short, and it has come unstuck. Morrison under Burke. Now Kemp. Burke played it brilliantly. Stifled the hand pass. Runs onto the loose ball. And Thompson, who started very well, has got it up towards left half back. Told to play on now. It's a high ball towards the wing. Beveridge in front, made easy for Reed, fisting away, gained about 15 metres on the spoil, and the boundary throw in. It's good spoil by Philip Reed. He does give the ball a good hard hit. You see the short kicking. Wasn't really on at any stage, and Chad Morrison probably should have held the chest mark. Ever knocks it down. Cousins had it, lost it. Kemp comes away towards half forward, bounces inside the 50. Quicksilver, Philip Matera, likewise Thompson, though, in the opposite direction, Begley in trouble. A hand pass bounces to Peckett inside the centre square, kicks to half forward. Banfield missed it, got a boot to it, though. Chance now just outside the 50 for the Eagles. They've got the numbers, but they didn't count on Hayes initially. His good work has kept it in. Yeah, just little mistakes he was making. Drew Banfield that time, it, it is a desperate lunge at the ball, but he got his arms to it and should have wrapped it up on his chest. The ball spills and, and they're still in a lot of danger with the Saints right on their 50 metre line. Jankovic angles it towards the boundary line. Reed is in front, takes it across. It's a pretty big wrap for Len Hayes, uh, Lenny Hayes to have such a talented player as Drew Banfield running with him. Yeah, it is. I think Banfield would, would have been the one targeted for Harvey, and with Harvey starting on the half forward line, Banfield then uh, picked up Hayes, who started in there. This is Beveridge, 65 metres from goal. Everett with the run at the ball, fingertips to it, couldn't hang on. Heatley got the ball to support. The kick comes down from Walton, and it's out of bounds. Quick thinking, quick disposal, but 
inaccurate disposal. Still, he was under pressure. Throw in alongside the behind post. Now over the top is Harvey directing it down. Rentoul, Young, body slammed. Everett tries to pick it up. Spills across towards Walton, who snaps, and that's a very good effort from there. That is a very good effort. Goal! Well, the final round, it throws up some interesting results. I don't think many people, John, would expect the Saints to be in this position where they've got a very comfortable lead midway through the first. I think most people expected the West Coast, after their good form last week, to really give it to the Saints today. But uh, all of a sudden, they've got the job in front of them to maintain their spot in, in or the current spot in the eight. Well, yeah, that's right. The, we always make the mistake of going on four, which we can't do in this game. Six possessions now for Ben Walton. Do you think that's, a goal. Do you think that Scotty Palmer may have found something, Dennis? I thought he would. He was uh, cast for the role. There's Braun. Early days yet, of course, as the kick comes down towards the 50. Cleared Burke and Philip Matera. Runs loose at the back. Cummings charges up. Still Cummings. Philip Matera finds something. Speeds away and gets the first for the Eagles. And there's a player down as Saints. Hutchton. Hit Cummings very hard, ran at him. Cummings kept his attack on the football. Hudson ran hard at him, and uh, Cummings obviously carrying the bigger weight. And, uh, and Hudson's really felt that blow. Hit the ground pretty hard as well. But Philip Matura coming up the ground very hard, and then he's followed up. If we just uh, have a look at the bump, we see Cummings just kept attacking the footy really hard. Hudson comes in very hard knock. We we'll hope he's all right. The stretch is there. Phil Matura then just following up his footy with that pace. Finished off with a very good kick for goal, one that the Eagles desperately needed. But Hutchton, uh, you could see as soon as he copped the bump, it was a very hard hit, and he did hit the ground hard. So if you let Phil Matura get uh, between you, yourself and the goals, it's no chance, is he? No, he is lightly quick, and uh, he started very sharp tonight. He's coming up the ground a bit further than he has been uh, recently, playing on Nathan Burke, who's, uh, as we know, just a great defender. Phil Matura is going to have to move around a lot because if he just tries to stand still and beat Burke, he'll have no chance. Use his, use his assets, his, uh, his great pace. His, his ball handling's been very good this year and, and certainly he's finishing off his kick for goals being outstanding. Max Hunston coming off the ground. Point of the shoulder. Connecting. It's a fearless player is Hunston. Well, yes, he was... Taking on a much heavier player there and, uh, and just needed to have his shoulder up a bit higher to protect his own head. And uh, the way he hit Cummings there, his head just took the full brunt of Cummings' shoulder. And, uh, I mean, it was great football by Cummings as well, just to it was. ride the bump, put the opponent away, and then uh, not only that, but set up Phil Matera for the goal. So Hutchton off the ground, but did seem to be moving, which is good. Thompson... Nicely done. Deft. Side step as he kicks inside the 50. And a very good mark is taken by McKenna going back. I think if the Ruckman don't touch the football in a centre bounce, the umpire is entitled to bring it back. McKenna goes across the ground. Reed leads in the race out there. Mitchell hanging on. Comes back to Mitchell. Opportunity now for Beveridge. Beveridge kicks down towards half forward. Harvey. Harvey feeds it back towards the middle. This is Peckett. Untidy looking kick inside the 50. Missed down there by Heatley. Recovers pretty well. Walton dangerous on the forward line. Chips to the pocket. Everett's got it now. What's he doing? He's playing on. Or was it touched? Touched, yeah. Must have been. Back to the middle and Harvey. It's one of his best positions, uh, Robert Harvey, when he gets the opportunity to play as a half forward flank with a sort of a centerman's license. He has done it very many times in a state of origin game and. Uh, doing it effectively tonight, John. Yeah, going back years ago, I, I played on him. Uh, it was probably his first State of Origin game, but he played as a half forward, and I couldn't believe the amount of uh, territory that he does cover. And mm. not only just because he runs hard, but he knows where to run to get the footy. He's just a champion player, and that's going to be a good contest. He on McKenna. Um, no doubt one-on-one -on -one McKenna will match him, but if, uh, if Harvey does keep running, that's where he's going to get the footy. Nice finish by Harvey. Gave it to this man, Heatley. Little kick from right on the 50. Going at his second. And what's he done? Brush the post. Yeah. I think the other thing that uh, 
is a bit of an advantage here to the Saints with this shorter ground is that Everett seems uh, very keen getting forward and he's being able to do it so well. And I wouldn't be surprised to see Jason Ball replacing Michael Gardner because he's having a big impact at the moment, Spider. Reed needs to be careful. Just under seven minutes till quarter time. Saints in front. Taylor made there for the man coming over the top. Knowles knocking away. And Jared, you've got your wish. Uh, Michael Gardner has come off the ground. Jason Ball going on, as you predicted. Just an update on Maxie Hodgson. Uh, not too good. Has a bit of bout of concussion. Unlikely to go back on and may have an arm injury as well. Andre throw in. Jankovic muscling his way in there. Begley goes down. Beveridge to Peckett. Peckett about 75 metres from goal. Pulls it back. Goal contest about 25 metres out. Everett, the juggled attempt, not paid. The umpire, 20 metres away, told them to play on. Look at the pace. Metropolis, where Punda streams away, comes up towards the wing, and the leader, Banfield, and that's a good grab. Very I think, good mark. I think the uh, marking contest, Dennis, the first touch was the ball's fist. It had to be, didn't it? Because uh, Spider had the rest of it. He thought he'd marked it. Banfield, down towards half four. Could have been a free to the Eagles in front. Socket off the ground by McLaren. Wakeland comes away. Little chip down towards half forward and Beveridge. Plenty of energy about the Saints at the moment. Beveridge for space. Heatley, Mark Andor, right free mark. kick. It is a mark. We'll take nothing away from uh, Jason Heatley. Let's have a look at this uh, attempt at Mark once again. Probably wasn't all that clear. Spider was uh, in no doubt that he touched it, but uh, I think Jason Ball also had a bit of it. But uh, I've seen Ashley McIntosh the last two weeks, John, and he just looked to have just... Uh, he's, he's lacking that pace off the mark. Yeah, he is. There's no doubt that knee's worrying him. He had uh, a week off going back about a month where he, uh, he had some minor surgery to scrape the cartilage, but uh, it obviously it's still worrying him because he hasn't got that speed. Jason Hitley hit the post with his last attempt. And he's missed, I think, to the left this time by about a metre. Well, oh, that's a big let off for the West Coast Eagles because uh, with Jason Heatley, we all know how good a kick he is, and for him to have missed the opportunity so far, he's keeping the Eagles in the game. McKenna. Could McIntosh go to the forward line, do you think, with his lack of pace and put Garrick down to fullback? The runner's already been out to McIntosh and had a word, obviously asking him how he's travelling, and uh, I think there will be a change made. This is Reed across half back, drives it up towards the wing. Garrick is there, that's interference, surely. Free kick. It's a tough call, I think. It was in the side, that one, and the only reason he could have paid the penalty was if it was outside five metres. Well, it appeared to be, didn't it? Well, the ball was in screen. Ooh, OK. There goes the kick from Ryan, where Punda was up to fist away. Picked up by Rintoul. Donnelly. Reed Runs to the wing. Philip Reed touches it down now. Long kick inside the 50. Working behind was Mitchell White, a half chance. It was a Cummings. Cummings fingertips to it. Meantime, Wakeland, Shane comes away. Gets it to McLaren, who kicks around the outer side. This is Harvey. Harvey on the wing. Down towards 50. Two of the little fellows will go for it. And Mitchell takes us Becky. Play on's the call. And he finds a man about 10 metres out, and that's Heatley. Now, I'm not sure that mark was paid. Did he call play on there, the umpire? I think he may have. It may have been touched initially by Werpunda. But anyway, watch it again. Watch the umpire in the foreground. The umpire screwed. Well, well, he certainly it. wasn't touched, but... No. Oh, I, well. think, I think the umpire did call play on quickly After because Mitchell off, yeah, yeah. had moved away. And uh, good play by Mitchell because he knows Heatley uh, on the move. If uh, McIntosh has a chance to set up, it's hard to get away from him. But uh, on the move, uh, Heatley managed to make a couple of leads and then run into space. Harvey at half four is a great move by Watson at the moment. He's a key player. Heatley kicks. And I think he's got this one. He has. Two for Jason Hitley. And uh, they're using Robert Harvey as the uh, go-to man at the moment. Most of the attacks are coming through him. He's had uh, six possessions. And uh, Bluey McKenna's just giving him far too much latitude. You can't play a fellow of his uh, ability like that. And uh, John Thompson also getting plenty of possessions that you're pointing out in the middle. Yeah, those two players are getting a lot of the football. And obviously feeding Jason Hitley. They're kicking the ball well to him. But going to have to tighten up a lot across the field. Well, we showed you the sorry records of these two sides coming in. Something's got to give tonight. St Kilda on top at the moment and looking good. They've got a good record against the West Coast Eagles. Kemp, well done to Morrison. 
Morrison driving it inside the 50. Cummings wants front spot. Fisted away by Wakeland. Shane picks it up after the fist from Darrell. Play on's the call. Driven towards the outer side by Burke. That was a precise kick. Beautiful. Pickett, untidy hand pass. McLaren waits. Pickett's got it again. Forward of the wing. Down towards half forward. Stubs the ball. Across comes McKenna. With some time. Guy McKenna. Back come the Eagles. Braun's got it. Saints actually looking a better combination now with uh, Shane Wakeland out of that forward zone and Rob Harvey just with more room to move. Garrick could have got a free kick there a couple of times. Nothing doing. It's out of bounds. That look says it all. Jackson Crabb waiting to come on. Mitchell White's gone to full back. And uh, Ashley McIntosh either coming to the bench or he'll go forward to take White's spot. Banfield got it from Ball to Rentil, 75 metres out. It's a wayward kick though, leading back in the race is the defender Wakeland, content to slap it across the line. Darrell conceding it behind there. And McIntosh is actually coming from the ground now, looks very, very sore, and Andrew Williams going onto the ground. Bad news for the Eagles for the finals. Exactly. Just a week away, Burke under pressure, drives it up to the wing. Williams, promising youngster, immediately in the action. <laughs> Split off the side of his boot, trying to change direction. Morrison fell over. Kemp comes in. Banfield, interesting hand pass. Comes across to Williams. Talk about making an impact. Hits the goal. Well, good goal, Andrew Williams. And that is the key. If you can come off the interchange bench and get yourself into the game as quickly as possible, before the opposition had realised, I mean, McIntosh came from full back off the ground, Williams into the forward line. And they didn't have a chance to work out who was directly picking him up. So he got around the football, got himself into play, and then it was a very good snap from the left foot to get it through for a goal. See here, just around the play, long left foot snap, and that's a crucial goal of the West Coast Eagles. And I think one of the problems there, John, was that uh, Tim Watson was uh, on the march down the stairs. There were four flights up here with the coaches, and uh, when that interchange came, he was uh, in transit. Bad spot for the coaches, this one. Red tool. High kick, down to his left half forward. Good mark by Shane Wakeland, running back with a flight of it. Prone, he gets the hand pass away to Burke, who chips to midfield and Everett. Everett wants to go, and he does. Raking left footer down towards centre half forward. Did not look. Metropolis, the defensive mark at half back. Spots Ball, gets it to him. Jason Ball to Kemp, who's been busy. Pops it out wide, very wide. Oh, Ball on good grab. Had to stretch there. To the middle. Banfield. The 65 metres from goal. Geary within scoring range for the left footer. And Tim Watson would be disappointed with this last couple of minutes because they'd worked so hard, the Saints. They could have just about put them away and gone into two, uh, quarter time with a five or six goal lead, John. But the situation almost reversed and the momentum now with the Eagles. Yeah, it is an important kick for Gary because the Eagles missed those early, uh, fairly easy shots at goal, which gave St. Kilda the break. Heatley then responded by missing a couple of easy ones for him. And if the Eagles kick this, probably squares it up. Important kick, Fraser Gary. From long range, has booted it. Well, that is a uh, you know, very important goal. Both sides have had their opportunity. Three goals, five to the West Coast Eagles, four goals, three to St Kilda. And both and it, sides missing some fairly easy ones. And it only came because of that desperate lunge for that mark because of uh, with Michael Braun there. He's a, a talented player, but desperation, one of his key, uh, key assets. Yeah, and it makes a difference, doesn't it? We've seen a couple of other desperate lunges at the ball where it's bounced off players' chest. That one, Braun made sure he wrapped it up and it results in a goal. A minute 24 remaining in the opening term. 4-3-3-5. Everett, only as far as Cousins, throws it on the boot. The Eagles may lead at quarter time. Bounces inside the 50. Young's over it. Over him, Banfield in the backs is the umpire. There's a scuffle at the other end of the ground. A long way from this action. Young pops it across towards Wakeland. Darrell. Right half back. Nice kick, Burke, unsighted momentarily, lost it. Hurried kick comes down towards half-fourth for the Saints. Kemp's in the road. 
Still a scramble close to the boundary line. Thompson knocks it across the line. You mentioned that scuffle that was in the St Kilda forward line. There's quite often that's the case. All, all the St Kilda players getting together in the goal score, and they're obviously trying to uh, block a path for another player, and it gets pretty heated in there in a tight situation. You've seen some of those, John. Here's <laughs> Thompson. Pulls it back towards centre half forward. A lot of jostling. The man in front will get the kick. That's Mitchell. Spot to be. Yeah, good hard work. Probably not a lot in that unless there was some actual holding. But if the arms are across each other, I don't think there's a free kick there. Mitchell looking for the lead from Heatley. Cousins showed courage to go back. This is Zilla. 45 metres out, snapping. Wide of the mark, it bounces out of bounds in the right full forward pocket. Clock stops with 17 seconds remaining till quarter time. The Saints are doing a good job on uh, Ben Cousins at the moment. They've tied him up with just uh, three possessions, two kicks only, and one of them was just a scrubber we saw a couple of seconds out coming through the middle. Boundary throw in, saw Michael Malthouse on the boundary. And a couple removed from him to his right, the former St Kilda champion, George Young. There's George just on the left of screen there. What an exciting player he was. I still remember the day that I think Carmen kicked about uh, 12 at Moravan and George Young kicked 10 at the other end. Great right play. Jakovic is up. Knocks it wide towards the boundary. Donnelly takes it across. That was well played by Donnelly. Uh, he was outnumbered there and he had to get in front and make a contest. St Kilda had players either side of the ball. If Donnelly wasn't there first, they would have controlled it. Boundary throw in, down towards right half forward, wait for the siren. Rentoul grabs the ball, last kick of the term. An interesting quarter. Both sides had their moments there. Bit of humour, Robert Harvey and Chad Rentoul. That's good to see. At least I think it's humour. 4-3 to 3-5. Three, three, well, it kept going a while to be humour. There were smiles there, but I'm not sure it was a humorous exchange. Robert Harvey, how many possessions so far off that half forward flank? He's had six. Thompson has been very busy with nine, and that leads the way. Five marks for Robert Harvey. So quarter time at the Wacker. 4-3 three, plays 3-5. Three, the Saints on top. It's no doubt he's got a, a very sore knee, and uh, they're monitoring that, but he's struggling on the way Jason Hitley leads tonight. Well, let's find out. Adrian, what news? Then the news down here is that Max Hudson has a concussion and a bad shoulder as well and will not play again. Ashley McIntosh's knee, it is his knee, he needs an operation at the end of the season. He'll be unlikely to come back unless they need him as well today. Really, really struggling. Both sides pretty keen for a good second quarter. Then from the boundary, as the rain is about to come, it's back to you. Nice work, Barra. All rugged up and ready. That's our man on the boundary. Up goes Everett, slams it down. Whew. Bigley met solidly, but not before he got the hand pass away. Probing kick from Mitchell. High was Heatley. Those two goals were Punda. Roves the pack and comes away. Hugs the boundary line. A couple of bounces. Kicks it up towards the wing. Sliding in like a base runner going to second. Drew Banfield on his chest. Kicks high towards half forward. Ill directed. Great courage from Thompson. Missed the mark. Recovers. Wonderful evasion. Classical football, the finish not quite so good. Beveridge gathers the bouncing ball, though. He's been busy, but that kick, a poor one. Jankovic in the row. The punter again. Well played. Reed, White, alongside the centre circle, punches the ball low down towards half foot. Gierick fell over. Shane Wakeland comes away. Kicks it back towards the wing. Missed by Braun, close to the boundary line, sliding in his beverage. And out it goes. Interesting movement there, uh, John, just from Mitchell White electing to go very, very wide to Fraser Gehrig, and the same kick perhaps would have put uh, Scott Cummings onto the ball. Yeah, you've got to weigh that up. If you can get it, uh, as Cummings leading out towards the 50 metre line, I think that's the one you've got to use. Jackson Crab at the base of that pack. Mitchell White does assess the situation we spoke about it earlier. And Wakeland's playing a long way in front of Cummings, so uh, maybe from that situation, Cummings was never going to get in front. Ball, nicely done, goes with the outside of the boot. Gierick feeds it wide. Braun, about 75 metres from goal, kicks for space. Plenty of Saints there, though, and over the top, Beckley takes a good grab. Some big grabs on uh, this guy, Dennis. Tim Watson gave him a huge pump last week when I was talking to him. 
Looks a tight, doesn't he? As he goes out to Thompson. Good kick over the distance. Thompson short. Finds Harvey. Glenn Jakovic got a bit of a task at the moment. He's pick, being picked up. He's picking up Ben Walton, who's had eight possessions in the uh, first quarter and is a very fleet footed forward player. Peckett looking for Ozzy Jones. Misses the target and the ball taken across the line by White. So boundary throw in. Right full forward for St Kilda. Heatley body to body with Donnelly. In front of the pack beverage. Right on the 50 was a cross when he booted it. It'll come back another throw in. Umpire Greg Scroop moving across his final qualifying match. He might get a final or two. Good luck to him if he does but he's announced his retirement at the end of this season. Based in Western Australia and on the panel. It's a big effort. Rintoul gets the hand pass away. Williams under pressure. High kick. Gains about 35 metres. Cousins the leaper. This is Crab coming away. Jackson Crab. Nice looking kick too. Philip Matera inside the centre square. Men outside. He wants to use them. Got himself into a spot of trouble. Jackson Crab runs on, feeds it at the top to Cummings, to Cousins. Archers the back, didn't get away. That's Couple holding trip. the ball or a trip. <laughs> Played the trip. <laughs> <laughs> it was going to be touch and go. <laughs> wow. I think uh, it was just unfortunate because the tackle's there and he's just left hand as poor Cummings' his feet from under him. Great desperate so. football from uh, both parties. Yeah, Jackson Crab, excellent running back with the flight of that ball. Maybe he should have, uh, he played on very quickly. But, uh, that's probably fair enough because Young couldn't quite complete the tackle and then in his desperation to uh, leg Cousins and stop him running into the open goal. Ben Cousins then. From about 15 metres out. Coming off 31 possessions last week. His season's high 35 against the Swans. Round 9. Kicks the goal. Well, yeah, Tim Watson certainly would be disappointed with St Kilda's start. They had so much more of the football. Mm. 89 possessions in the first quarter compared to the Eagles' 64. And now the Eagles, early in this second quarter, hit the lead. And uh, I think it's uh, worrying signs for St Kilda now. The Eagles started pretty slow. They're slowly working their way into the game. St Kilda have wasted the footy, had the opportunity to set up a lead, didn't take those opportunities, and have got the job ahead of themselves now. So the West Coast Eagles in front. They lead it by two points. First time tonight they've been in front. Ball and Everett. Kemp. Easily away. Kicks inside the 50. Young was up. Knocked away by Williams who was tackled off the ball. No free kick. Socket off the ground down there by Zilla. Picking it up though Cousins. Hand passes to Rintoul. A high floating kick. They'll contest just inside the 50. Knocked away from Young by Williams. Picked up now by Hayes. Nicely done to Thompson. Thompson kicks it up towards the wing. Reaching over the top. Metropolis. And he thumps it across the boundary line. What a fantastic spoil. News from down here, Dan. Max Hudson is back on the bench and looks okay, but won't play any further part in the game. Ashley McIntosh has had his knee re-strapped and is a chance to play again if necessary. Good to see Max back. Thrown in right on the wing then. Ball slaps it down. Braun. Beveridge tackled him. Goes after it. Does Luke Beveridge? The whistle and a bounce. I've just been watching uh, Ben Walton. He's clearly been instructed by Tim Watson just to take Glenn Jakovic uh, well as far away as uh, Subiaco if possible. But at this stage, he hasn't got outside the boundary line. Ball and Everett lock up. Ball clean possession. He was taken over the shoulder. Grayson Ball on the wing with the free kick. Important game this for the West Coast Eagles. If they win, as I mentioned earlier, they'll play the Western Bulldogs, who beat them by two points last week. And who they thrashed in Perth earlier this season. Hayes got the hand pass away to Begley, who kicks it up towards midfield. Metropolis coughed it up. Thompson brilliantly done. Fancies his chances. Runs inside the 50. Deserves a goal, and he's got it. Great interception. Well, that's great football. Thompson's really carving the Eagles up at the moment, and I think he's enjoying uh, having Robert Harvey cruising across the half-forward line. It means a lot more football available for him to collect midfield, and he just cruises through there. Just read to play extremely well. 
New Metropolis was under pressure with the handball. Ran in, kicked the great goal. He's really damaging uh, in midfield. 13 possessions now. The Eagles, Rintoul's had the job on him. They're going to have to tighten right up. So the Saints are back in front. 5-3, 4-5. Saturday night football from the Wacker. Kemp. Well done. Donnelly on the wing. Inside the 50. Cummings storming up. Knocked away by Wakeland. Plenty of Saints on the ground. Burke's got it now. From half back, sends play out towards the wing. A good kick too. Beveridge has taken the mark. Had some good moments last week in the second term against Carlton. He's had plenty of the ball tonight. Kicks towards the attacking 50, but the kick favoured the defender. White didn't take the mark. Read the crumb. Prods it back towards the boundary line. Braun. Michael Braun. Made his debut against the Saints. Game, the Eagles lost by four points. Up towards the wing and ball. Well played. Williams down towards the 50. It bounces inside the 50, oh, backing nice. himself brilliantly. Wakeland, that was Dale, or rather Darrell, got it across to support. Eventually, the kick comes out from Zilla. That was well worked. Up towards the half forward line now for the Saints. Beveridge just outside the 50. Wrong foots a couple of defenders. Chance here for Ozzy Jones. Spots the goals. Hits the post. Having said that, it wasn't a difficult kick. I think what's working for the the Saints at the moment is the small forward line, as we see uh, Daryl Wakeland leaving his man. He did a very good job there. Took the punt and came through. And probably the tackle was the best option there, but uh, he rode the bump and set up a, a scoring chance. Metropolis to bring it in then. Kicking for distance. Banfield got a fingertip to it. It bounces behind. Everett threads the hand pass away. McLaren, 45 metres out, bringing it right to left. I think it's good. It is a goal to the Saints. Well, Joey McLaren and Michael Braun having an excellent battle, but uh, it's a very high possession one at the moment. They're playing pretty wide of each other. McLaren's uh, now on the board, you see. Great handball here for Everett. From Spider, yes. Yeah, sets him right away. Up. If you can get that handball out, put your own teammate into space, that just means so much to your team rather than handling it someone who's under pressure. And McLaren didn't let him down, waited up, ran into the space and banged it through for a good goal. Of course, this game more than of passing interest to Sydney. If the Eagles go under tonight, Sydney can, for the win tomorrow, push their way up the ladder. Of course, they have to get past Hawthorne, who are playing pretty good footy at the moment. Still plenty to play for, despite the fact the eight was settled last week. Crab not going anywhere, and as a result, Hayes is away. Has had a bounce, 55 metres out. Too tall for Heatley, over the top, Geerig, waiting in front, McKenna. McKenna drives it towards the boundary line. It takes a big bounce, stays in. Braun's got it now, out against the boundary line, pinpoints the ball and finds Mitchell White. Yeah, Mitchell White has just swapped with Fraser Geerig. Geerig not getting a lot of the football. Wakeland, Taylor made for him, came over the top and thumps it away. Darrell Wakeland defending stoutly. Great spoil there, but gets up over the top of Rintoul, makes sure it goes out of bounds, but uh, Gehrig was struggling up forward, so he's gone back, Mitchell White up forward, and uh, luxury the Eagles can make that change. Whistle and a free kick to Everett, was it? Free kick, Jason Ball was punching his hand away. Everett throwing a little elbows back into Jason uh, Ball to make sure he knew who was in front. The umpire picked out the free kick for chopping his arm. Everett goes a fair way and drives it across the ground. Begley arches the back, comes away, finds Mitchell inside the centre square. Not a lot of pressure on him, so he kicks inside the 50, and that's a lovely finish. Geez, the signs are fantastic at the moment for St Kilda. They're just man for man. They look a little bit quicker than the Eagles. They're persisting with this small forward line. Yeah. They've got uh, Glenn Jakovic right out of the way. Luke Beveridge is uh, giving Metropolis lots of problems, and Ozzy Jones is now... Uh, getting some football as well. Jones from 45 metres then. Again. He's hit the post again. The third poster for St Kilda. Yeah, once they move that ball quickly, those small forwards for St Kilda are really leading hard and there's, there's that open space. So they can make their 30 or 40 metre lead 
And because they're quick, they're just holding that two-metre break on their opponents and taking easy marks out in front. Metropolis drives it in, where a punter has to go from behind. Harvey came back strong. Where a punter and Harvey, this will be interesting. Where a punter knows he's in a race. Taken front on by Walton, dragged down, holding the ball. Jeez, that's tough. He was a bit stiff there, where a punter. Well, advantage was paid, was it? Not a lot of advantage there, although I suppose the umpire spotted who had the ball. Harvey comes back to Zilla. Zilla, hard against the boundary line. High kick down towards the 50. Rintel was up. Couldn't control it. The hand pass came from Thompson into the path of Beveridge. Sharp angle. It's a great kick. The Saints on a roll. Well, that is a great kick, but it's a mistake from Chad Rintel. He was running back in a real tough position. All he had to do was make a contest, which he did, but... This contest had to be to try and punch that ball out of bounds. He's a metre in from the boundary line. We see here, always under pressure. They just try to control the ball in front of him. He was always going to go to ground. Beveridge swooped and made him pay with a goal. you just got to play the percentages in that situation. You don't know what's around you. Take the ball out of bounds. Wait for your teammates to get back and help you out. Well, about four minutes ago, the Eagles were in front. Suddenly, they trail by 18 points. 7-5 to 4-5. Ball backhands it down. Rintoul taken by Hayes. Forced to hand pass as a result. Well done by Shane Wakeland. Clear the path for Young. Young breaks away from half back. Kicks down towards half court. Missed by Walton. Jakovic picked his pocket, did Walton. Came up with it. Kicks inside the 50. He's been impressive. Jones couldn't control it. Ricochets off his body and across the line. He's looking lively up forward. Ozzy Jones. Walton, nine possessions. Every time I see him play, Ben Walton, he does very well. Hayes knocked it down. McKenna picked it up. Hurriedly onto the boot. Bounces out towards the boundary line, but stayed in. Rintoul releases Reed. He speeds away. Kicks down towards the 50. White has to wait. Showed the judgment, although... Wakeland did pretty well. Coming across on the angle, just affected the flight of it. Fingertips to it. A real difference with the, the Eagles going forward again. Mitchell White trying to get the ball kicked over the top, whereas the St Kilda players are leading fast and hard up towards their team. That's what I'd like to see the Eagles getting back closer to the goal so there's more space ahead of them they can run up towards the player with the ball. And the ball's on uh, one side of the ground. Ben Walton is exactly on the other side of the ground, dragging Glenn Jakovic away again. Rental. Misses. There is a problem there. Uh, I think there's going to have to be a, a move made, John, because every time there's a loose ball situation, Walton's fresher and quicker legs are uh, making an option for the Saints. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough one, isn't it? I mean, that's the direct match up there. Whoever Jakovic picks up will do the same thing as Walton is doing. Young kicks in. Thompson couldn't complete the mark. It falls to Hayes. He boots it hurriedly and gains about 35 metres on the bounce out of bounds. 47 plays 30. Ten and a half minutes till half time. Walton and Jakovic. Running their own little marathon. Ball, clean possession. Kicks down towards half forward. Intended for White. It was knocked away by Wakeland. Taken by Rintel. Untidy a couple of times there by the Eagles. Braun missed it. Not so. The kick comes up from Ryan. He gathered it. Jankovic in the road. Short one. Banfield. Far too casual. Finds it on the ground. Smothered by Everett. Everett playing far better tonight. It's a hand pass away to Thompson. Thompson back to Ryan. Ryan chips it up towards half forward. Missed down there by Mitchell. Behind it's Harvey. On all fours is Banfield. Sliding in is Walton making a contest. He ties it up for the Saints. And just those fumbles from the Eagles players. They're under a lot of pressure from St Kilda. Second grab attempts and uh, the opportunity to get the ball on is gone. St Kilda then got numbers in there making it and tying it up, forcing a bounce down. Well, the bloke taking the ruck here will probably be six foot one or the equivalent in centimetres because Spider and Ball are now in the goal square. Banfield hurriedly down towards half forward. White leads in the race. Fickle bounce. Shane Wakeland comes away, kicking towards half forward. Harvey goes up, misses the mark, should have taken that one. Knocked away by Reed, whose sock is eventually in desperation out towards the boundary. And out it goes. A lot's been made of the confidence of 
the West Coast Eagles in this losing run of theirs. And some bad signs coming back into their play at the moment. Robert Harvey, not too often you see that. A little rusty. Hayes got his fingertips to it. Banfield was taken high, no free. Thompson slides in. Harvey again, creating space. Finds Zilla. He's the best in the league at doing that, Robert Harvey, creating space and at the same time not moving. Short one to Peckett. Peckett is about 55 metres from goal. Now, if the Saints get the next one, the West Coast Eagles will be deep in it. Peckett. Kicks for space, honouring the lead from Heatley. All too easy. Heatley. With the area up in front cleared out, came on the lead, and this is how it ended. Yeah, very good kick, good set up by the Saints. They obviously have worked it out. Their forward line playing exactly the way Tim Watson has directed them. Begs the question that uh, why they're doing it tonight, and they haven't been able to play to a certain game plan all year, but he's certainly following it uh, to the word tonight, and it's paying off for them. Their forward line's functioning very well. Well, it's a totally different forward line. No low, no haul. Rather than juggling the big bikes, they're uh, rotating the little fellas. Heatley going at his third. It's tight. I think it's OK. It is. A yeah, very good kick by Jason Heatley. And uh, it's, it's one of those things, Jared, where they're, they're forced to make changes to their forward line and try a different style of forward. Now, yep. If those big players were available to play for St Kilda next week, what do you do? Do you say that the forward line works better without them? And it's a tough question, isn't it? it Coaches is, have uh, really got to work that out to play the side that's going to function best for them. I think you can say they played their best football in the last three years with Heatley at full forward. I think that's a fair comment. You go back a couple of years when they made the grand final. He was an integral part of that run to the big day. Crab. Wakeland, both of them playing well. That's Shane Jackovic, across to Zilla. Jakovic to centre half forward now. Zilla down towards right half forward and Harvey. Loose at the back. Walton feeds it back nicely. Begley. Peckett. About 75 metres out to the pocket. And Heatley has it knocked away by Geary. Here are Mitchell White and Fraser Geary, the two key forwards, or half forwards for the Eagles now in the back line. Glenn Jakovic, they're trying to. Upset the way St Kilda have been playing by moving him forward. We'll see what effect that has on the game. Glenn Jakovic. As Fraser Gehrig goes up, knocks it down. But Thompson once again, industrious, pulls it back. Oh. Well, we'll come to back himself. And if he takes the mark, I guess it's OK. Yeah, still, I don't like to see that. I mean, he's the small man, he had to go the punch once Mitchell White was out of position. White, Thompson going back, did well. Out of bounds, crowd claiming it came off the boot, which it did, but I think Thompson's boot was over the line. Dennis, looks like the Eagles will bring back Ashley McIntosh now. Must be desperation stakes. And at ground level, McKenna, Banfield and Jakovic, none of those guys look fit, fully fit. They're about their 70%, I'd say. Nice, on the eve of the finals. Rintoul on his knees. Guess who? Thompson comes away with it. Kicks it across the field. Look out oh. behind. Here's a chance for the man just on the ground, Elliot. Across to Mitchell, who goes into an open goal. And he's got it. Well, again, that set up just the sudden change. Elliot coming on, running into space, not being manned up. It's Drew Banfield comes off the ground. The Eagles uh, a little bit worried. They're going to have to make some, uh, some big changes here and get themselves back in the game. But good awareness by Elliot. Just a good, slick handball. So Mitchell sent the player away in a lot better position to bank through the goal and a real handy one for St Kilda, making the job tougher for the West Coast Eagles now. Well, Josh, cool. line. Sorry. Josh Wooden's uh, come onto the ground, drew Banfield off, and uh, the Eagles now know that they've just got to go man for man in the uh, back line, given that uh, they've been just outpaced there. And I just wonder whether they need some... More ball getting ability in the middle and a Wirapunda could come into the into the guts. 9-5 to 4-6. The Saints on top. Thompson playing a wonderful game. Oh, Great ball by Morrison that time. And it's holding the ball. Chad Morrison, who represented Victoria earlier in the season, did very well. Not so crap. 
Taken there by Hayes. Gets it across towards Begley. Begley unloads. Look out for Spider. Well, he was up and on the way down as he tried to mark it, but he crumbs it. He's about 25 metres out. He snaps and splits the middle. Well, he certainly has lifted tonight. Always dangerous when he goes forward. And really creates, uh, not just from his marking potential, but he's very clever around the ground as well. And Daniel Metropolis having a spell on the bench. He's been uh, chopped up by his smaller, smallish opponent. And Ashley McIntosh coming back. It looks like Fraser Geary going back to the forward line, so the Eagles really trying to create something. And Kilda for the moment, very exciting, very attacking. And they lead 10 5 to 4 6. This crowd a little stunned. Down goes Ball. Elliott emerges with it. Played over 70 reserves games before he made his league debut. It wanders down towards Harford. Beveridge got in there. And pass comes from Jones to McLaren. McLaren kicks inside the 50. Walton knocks it down, but away from goal. Missed by Morrison. Taken high was Walton. No free kick. Another ball up. There's McIntosh. We mentioned he's back on the ground. He's now picking up Everett, which will suit him better because Everett doesn't lead as sharply as Heatley. But it, uh, I think Spider may get the message to run McIntosh around as well. One by Elliott. Beveridge liked his game. There's Peckett looking downfield, pulls it back inside the 50 like a wicketkeeper. It was stopped there by McKenna, who breaks through and kicks it out to Josh Wooden, who's at right half back. Wooden comes up towards the ring. Good mark is taken there by Jones at full tilt. In the wilderness at the moment, it would be great to see him get back to his form of two seasons ago. Here's Harvey. Harvey plays on inside the centre square. All too easy for the Saints at the moment. Young should have been tackled. Gets away. Threads the needle and finds Thompson. Who's coming up for his 19th possession. Five minutes out from half time. High ball and a good ball. Elliott goes back. Elliott's over the ball. He's going to get a free kick. He was taken high. Lossie Jones has been pushed into defence. He's now on Ben Cousins, and we see that uh, desperate lunge not paying off because it was uh, it's still got to be within the rules. Yeah, it was a bit of a wasted tackle. Well, Elliot was already on the ground, so he wasn't going to break away. We were under lunging and getting him high. I think he could have read the situation a bit better and made sure he wasn't going to give away a free kick, try and lock the ball in there. But uh, such as a lot of the West Coast Eagles at the moment, St Kilda dominating and really making them look second rate. Tim Elliott, sharp angle, not a reputed goal kicker. Not this time either, behind. Didn't miss by much. It's hard to remember the last time the Eagles were inside their uh, attacking 50. And just having a look at the stats now, it's St Kilda has been in there 17 times, and the West Coast just the six. Williams at half back, marks the kick in, comes up to the wing and Cousins. Maybe they can do it this time. Ben Cousins. Running hard is Gardner. The kick goes in that direction. Two big men up. Not great policy. Waiting down was Thompson. Thompson from left half back. Boots it through the wing. Heatley came late. Williams played it very well. Fine recovery. Wooden forward of the wing. Kicks inside the 50. Intended for Philip Matera over the top Cummings. But Whiteland yeah, took the mark. That's the story. I think every time it's gone in there, 50 this quarter, one of the Wakelands has run it out. Elliott's hand pass, very untidy. Broad, Wooden, off the ball, McLaren is hurt. There goes the kick from Wooden down towards full forward. Plenty of Wakelands back there that time. <laughs> they have playing extremely well down there. And again, just, you can see there, they didn't go for the mark. They summed up the situation and decided to punch it out of bounds. That's the percentage thing. The Eagles at times, have, uh, just haven't gone for that big spool to get the ball in a neutral area and uh, until they can get numbers down there. Mm. Okay. Boundary throw in. It's a nice angle. Djakovic. Cousins. Pulls it back across his body and that's a lovely kick. Belated goal. Well, a desperate goal that the Eagles needed there. Classy play by Ben Cousins. 
really does stand out and uh, you'd like to say that the Eagles players could match him sometimes in uh, his, his natural skill levels. They certainly look like they're uh, playing without that confidence. Ben Cousins stands out when he kicks goals like that because not that many other players all right, have been able to do it for a long time for the West Coast Eagles. Just over three minutes till half time. 10-6 to 5-6. Saints on top. Gardner goes up and knocks it down. Hayes emerges with it. Long kick inside the 50 and Beveridge takes the mark on his chest. Well, just leading, we're a punter to the ball. The Eagles players are trying to read the way the ball's going to come out. We see the quick kick. Beveridge was already coming up the ground. We're a punter thinking that it was going to be a contest in there with Josh Wooden. So he didn't go with his man. I think you've always got to go with your man. You can't think the ball's going to land anywhere. Stay with your man until it's out of your area. And Beveridge has got the goal. It makes a big quarter for St Kilda now. They've really dominated across the field. The Eagles looking very, very slow and average as they go forward. Conversely, when the Saints go forward, the way they've set their forward line up with all players pushing deep inside the 50 metre line, almost into the goal square, really is testing out the Eagles as the ball comes out quickly out of the centre. The Saints, smaller players, streaming up the ground, putting a lot of pressure on them. St Kilda, 11-6. The West Coast Eagles, 5-6. Even a bigger mystery, this one, for Sherlock. The Saints looking... Irresistible. Well done by Elliott to Hayes to Harvey. Now McLaren's away, seems to be okay. He's 60 metres out, goes long, going back is Mitchell, and Mitchell has taken the mark. Well, that right. looked to Mark. He's played it. He yes, has played it. Quite yes. right. The work in the centre of the ground set this up for the Saints. It was uh, some pretty good handball to set Scott McLaren alight. Crowd not happy, but no doubting a mark there. No, he definitely marked it and uh, took a couple of steps into the post. Wants to play on, but umpire Allen having none of that, bringing him back. So Mitchell, the kick from a sharp angle, clock stopped at 2.23. And the Saints double the Eagles score right now. Chance to improve on that. There is another mystery, and it's the uh, the effect that round 22 has on various sides in the competition. It is amazing, isn't it? I saw both of these teams last week, and they should be swapped because uh, you'd expect the Eagles to be in the position that St Kilda are in. It's the thought of that long summer, and one last grab at a bit of glory. Melbourne tried hard today. As Mitchell comes around and kicks a goal. He's got two. Well, those smaller players are just dominating right across the whole field, really, for St Kilda. Look like they've just got that spring in the step. The, you'd think, Jared, that they're the side oh. that are pumped up going into the finals next week. Incredible. Not going out, uh, not out of it. Uh, where the West Coast Eagles look so flat, so sore after throwing everything at the Bulldogs, and maybe that's the case. They gave it everything last week. The West Coast Eagles not in the penthouse in terms of the top eight, but now a real chance to get on in the danger zone. One by Gardner. Waiting there is Ryan, hurriedly onto the boot. That goes Harvey, cleverly, down to Begley. Feeds it back. Ryan again. The Eagles simply can't get the ball at the moment. Picks it down towards half forward. Wapunda breaks away from half back. Wapunda with pace then inside the centre square. Kicks it down towards half forward. And the small man. Surrounded by Saints, takes the mark on his chest. Philip Matera, about 55 metres from goal. Cummings offers a lead down towards the pocket. Wakelin is there over the top. Darrell tied up his man, enabling Ryan to run away. Harvey again on the outer side. Chips it up towards the wing. Peck misses it. Watch for Harvey to cruise back into your picture. He's got it. The hand pass not all that effective. Hayes grabs it hard against the boundary line. Tugs it down towards half forward. Guy McKenna hit the ball hard. Gets the hand pass away to Cousins. Cousins towards half forward. Young goes up. Takes the mark. Hit the ground running. 
And Harvey's been uh, let loose into the middle of the ground. Thompson's having a rest. And, uh, well, Harvey's been in the centre for two bounces. Got two exits and four possessions. Burks kicked a half forward. Results in the ball coming to Peckett. And Peckett has kicked another one. Well, sensational footy again by the Saints. Just forcing the ball forward, keeping the Eagles under a huge amount of pressure. They've got numbers around the footy. And as you called it, Jerry Robbie Harvey, just got the luxury now to say, go and have a run on the ball, yeah. son. And... Poor guy McKenna, Robert Harvey's gone up and he's now picking up Thompson who's, uh, who's had the most positions on the ground and he's going to run with him. I suppose the only bonus is maybe Thompson will feel like having a rest and won't cover as much ground. St Kilda looking superb. Not a bad card to play, saying to Robert Harvey, go and have a run. He had 32 possessions against the Eagles back in round seven. Prior to that, he polled eight out of the possible nine Brownlow votes in the previous three meetings between these clubs. Out of the middle, Hayes, who's playing very well, hooked it down towards half forward. Thompson's got it now, spots Mitchell. Desperate defence, knocked away by Reed. It goes out of bounds, and the clock stops at 39 seconds. John, what do you make about uh, the plan from St Kilda? And uh, to some extent, last week, the Bulldogs, to just isolate Louis McKenna and have him play as centre-half back. Yeah, well, he's, his knee is pretty average as well. I think sides have worked out that he can't move as well as he'd like. And they're testing him out there. Whoever plays on Guy McKenna is given a license to cover a lot of area from Sinar forward. And uh, Bluey does his best. He, he still gets his possessions by reading the play coming in. But when it's one on one, running around after the ball, he's finding it very tough to stay with his man. The margin is 48 points. Tossed in inside the attacking 50 for the Saints. Can they muster another late goal? They stay off Thompson. He turns around and kicks it down towards full forward. Mitchell did some pushing. And the free kick will go to Philip Reed down there in the last line of defence. Almost siren time. So at least the Eagles managed to weather one storm. It comes out to White. White off a step, puts it out of bounds on the full. Well, it's fast becoming that sort of night. Begley's got it. A couple of seconds to go. It needs a mark for them to score here. High ball, and they've taken the mark. <laughs> well, wow. They couldn't even weather that storm, Dennis. We thought they had, and it was just a lazy kick from Mitchell White. It's gone out of bounds on the full, and then too easy again coming inside their 50 to Jason Heatley. That so is just got too three. easy. His best effort against the Eagles, six rounds, six last season. He's missed quite a few tonight. He's going at his third. He's kicked about three behinds. Eminently gettable, this one, for Jason Heatley. He'll kick from just inside the 50. It's bending around. It's tight. It's a behind. Well, it's about the only blemish in this term. Irresistible football from St Kilda. At the other end of the ground, Scott Cummings. Hasn't seen a lot of the footy. And Michael Malthouse, a former Saint himself, he started there back in the 70s, 1972, under Alan Jeans, with a lot of work to do on the eve of the finals. The West Coast Eagles in trouble. Well, when you run across the white line, you fit. So the, sec the second half, obviously, very, very crucial for the club. Yeah, we've got to really turn around. It's going to take a huge effort, but, uh, you know, the game's won over four quarters, so, you know, we're still alive. Good on you, Rob. Thanks for joining us. Start of the second half then, and the Eagles turn things around. Uh, Wilson Kilda just power away. Begley liked his game. Goes to Thompson, loved his game. Inside the 50, almost a mark to Mitchell, who's been dangerous on the forward line. Applies a tackle, where Punder heads for the boundary line twice. Down goes Beveridge. Was he pushed in the back? Not according to the umpire. Ball up. John, we saw the Eagles uh, bolting down the race or walking down the race. Not one player was talking. Not one player was having anything to say. No, there wasn't a lot of emotion or any sort of revving up there at all. You'd hope that it was all done in the rooms before they came out, but uh, obviously being challenged now. McIntosh has been pushed back onto Heatley. Jakovic back into his customary spot at Sinaf, back on Walton. So uh, Mick Mulder has thrown down the challenge to those players. Crab comes away, has a bounce, runs up towards centre-half back. Not a particularly good kick, though. It wanders out towards the wing. Rintoul hit it pretty hard, controlled it pretty well. The kick not the equal of the earlier good work. Almost found a teammate though. Donnelly right on the 50, pulls it around the corner. 
And it floats out of bounds on the full. Didn't pull it far enough. Uh, really had a, a big kick at it. Obviously trying to get a score. Sometimes just a controlled kick to the top of the goal score is what you're aiming for. There was no one there and it would have run on anyway. A lot better result than it spraying out of bounds on the full, just giving the ball back to the opposition. It's been the Wakeland wall in defence. There's Darrell across the goal face. Burke in trouble. Just a little ambitious. They tried to do too much. Wakeland comes back again. In fact, it was shame. And out of bounds it goes. And the boundary throw in. A good chase by Scott Cummings. Never gave up the chase from behind. So once Burke hesitated, he wrapped him up. Now the umpires conferring in midfield. And what have they seen? I think what are they about to do? A head count, I think. We saw the Eagles. Eagles started the third quarter one week with Andrew Williams on the field. He sprinted off. And that's uh, must well, be what they're going to do here. That's a good effort to get that, John. I've never seen this before in an AFL match. Now, if they find too many of either team, my understanding is the score is a null. Well, the, certainly the Eagles will be hoping that St. Kilda <laughs> with the extra man out there. Maybe that will explain. They'll be hoping that that's why they haven't been able to run with them. Well, I was just trying to work out whether it was Guy McKenna who was uh, the one speaking to the umpire. We might just go down to uh, Adrian Barrage and find out. Barrett, did anybody run off just in the last couple of seconds or so? We need Scotty again with a magnifying glass. <laughs> and Jared, no, there's certainly four on the Eagles bench sitting there at the moment. White, Morris, and Metropolis, and Wooden. <laughs> and there's four on the St Kilda bench, so one of the captains has called for a head count. I'll go and find out for you, but this is amazing scenes. It's like school kids lining up in the schoolyard, and the teacher's going to go through them and count. Well, we've had school boards burned down. We've had uh, school teachers counting numbers. It's it been a, a wild weekend, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. And away they go again. Hey, present and accounted for. The Greek group having a laugh about it too. We haven't lost anyone. That's good. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't know which. I've got a feeling it must have been Guy McKenna who called for the head count because the umpires ran from that end of the ground with Nathan Burke's down this end. So mm. it must have been Guy McKenna. I can confirm, Wush, actually, I can confirm it was Guy McKenna, Eagles captain. Um, I'm not sure why, whether they, they needed maybe, to... Maybe he just got confused by the Wakelands. You think he could have... <laughs> there, there seemed to be about five of them out there. <laughs> you think his first thing would have been to, to look over maybe at the St Kilda bench, but... Uh, Should have oh, gone well. for it in the second quarter, Ray. They had to run on and be there. It looked like there was about 30 St Kilda players out there. Zillow close to the boundary line, out it goes. Well, Michael Malthouse tipping his hand early. No doubt we'll see this again next week. So boundary throw it right under 50. We've seen a bit this weekend on seven. Ball and one of those pesky Wakelands. Down in front, Zilla. Tackle from behind by Ball. And out it goes. Now actually Mick had a head count I remember a long time ago. Michael Malthouse was coaching Footscray. They came across and played a preseason game against Swan Districts, down I think at Collie. And there was a head count down there and Swans did come up with the extra man. Long time ago. On the wing meantime, Cousins has got the ball, run down from behind, hand passes back. Crab taken down. Jakovic had his problems tonight, wins this ball and kicks towards half forward. Philip Matera from behind, Burke almost the mark, play on's the call. Shows good recovery skills. Poor kick, though. Bounce the ball. Rintel going nowhere. Begley gets it back to Everett. Everett has it slide off the outside of the boot, but it's effective. It goes to McLaren. McLaren off his step. Peckett, hard against the boundary line. Feeds it back. McLaren, well done. Left half back to Walton. Hard against the line. Kicks it through the wing. Down towards half forward. Big leap out there. That was Darrell Wakeland. Landed heavily. Taken by Rintoul. Hugs the boundary with a hand pass. Running onto the bouncing ball is Braun. Kicks through the wing. Gardner knocked away by Everett. He hand passes back defiantly. Picked up out there by McLaren to Begley. Stumbles. Got the hand pass away. Jakovic onto the loose ball. Cousins. Well done. Taken high was Banfield. Must get a free kick. Advantage is paid. McKenna is waved on. Kicks inside the 50. 
Cummings a big leap at the back. Shane Wakeland did nicely. Releases Burke. Burke chips in towards the centre square. Now it's outside the centre square. A couple of the Saints didn't go at the ball. They were too plight. Eventually, though, Burke a little one-two through the centre. Well played. It comes across to Thompson. Now taken by Harvey. Begley runs on, having been involved earlier. Harvey gets the hand pass across to Beveridge, who lines up. Great footy by the Saints. Well, that was uh, sensational. Footy by St Kilda. The Eagles again looking very scrappy, but it really was due to the pressure that the Saints were putting on them. Each possession that the Eagles players looked like getting are under enormous pressure immediately, just squeezing the ball out. Then the Saints, once they get that turnover, they're running forward hard, using the ball well, getting it to the best option, and a good finish by Beveridge. Again, Robert Harvey finding plenty of space on the forward line. 15 possessions for Luke Beveridge, three goals. And that's right, 14-7, plays 5-6. That's a rout at the moment, and it's more the way they're doing it. Everett to Thompson. Thompson, great desperation. Socket away by Kemp out towards the boundary. He goes after it. Right there is Ryan, and the ball goes across the boundary line. Present and correct. The bench, four of them. It's been a while since the Eagles have tops and killed it. Just one of those things in footy. Some sides have the wood on others. Down goes ball. Strong tackle by Zilla on a taller man and a ball up. Bounce midway between the lines then. Right centre wing and right half forward for the Eagles. And the crowd trying to get behind their team. A long way down. Everett slaps it down. Crab ran into a dead end. Wakeland to Jones. Thompson runs onto the loose ball. Dragged down as he kicked inside the 50. McKenna collides there with Reed. McKenna's in trouble. He was stomped on on the ground. Taken now by Walton. Across it comes to Harvey. Harvey runs outside the 50. Just spots a man to his right initially. And it's taken by Beveridge. Beveridge from about 60 metres, touched on the mark. It ricochets across to Braun. McKenna still in the hands of the trainers. Braun's kick tumbles out towards the wing. Brilliantly done by Shane Wakeland. Down to Young. Harvey couldn't pick it up. It's almost a clinic at the moment. Everett tries to get a teammate. Didn't spot him initially, but it comes to Beveridge. It comes back to Ryan. Ryan goes off a step and floats it inside the 50. Almost a hand on the shoulder there. Jakovic knocked away. Cousins, Gehrig, and now Reed. Reed running up towards half back. They picked his pocket. It was Jones. Charged down the hand pass. Strides inside the 50 and misses to the right hand side. A little bit of a scuffle on behind play. Mitchell and Reed. Mitchell offered a shepherd. Reed cannon into him, and uh, both players got up and had a bit of a niggle. Guy McKenna looks to be okay. Reed's got it now in the back pocket. John, what do you think uh, has been the problems with the Eagles uh, since about round 11? It's a real tough one. There's, there's no doubt that uh, guys like McIntosh and, and McKenna have been very, have bad knees and have been struggling. And I think the Eagles' back line has always been their strength to run from there, and that, that's really where that, uh, they've fallen away. And uh, the midfield players have lost their confidence from the amount of football that the back line's generated for them. McLaren gave it to Harvey. Brilliant finish finds Heatley. Jones involved earlier. Scotty Cummings coming off the ground. That's interesting because rarely has the ball been down there. So the Coleman medalist. Well, a little premature. Trots off the ground. Meantime, back at the kick. There's Heatley. McKenna. A little worse for wear. Inadvertently, I think somebody stood on his head or at least gave him a little kick as they charged after the footy, but Heatley oblivious to all of that. May have missed again. No, I think he's got this one. He likes it. Just. Well, this is an unbelievable scoreline now. Really starting to be fairly embarrassing for the Eagles. You see McKenna goes down there. He does get a bit of a boot from Gehrig there. The side of that. that was probably the one that did more damage. Right in the jaw. 
saw him working his jaw a little bit, but uh, the Eagles have got to try and get something happening just to make a game of this because St Kilda are making it look so second rate. Well, at best at the moment, the West Coast Eagles can look forward to limping into the final round. 15-8 to 5-6. Looks like a trip to Brisbane is beckoning as well. Out of the centre comes Zilla this time. Everett dominating the rucks. The kick inside the 50. Almost to Mitchell. Cousins stood firm. Comes away. Pressured though. As a result, it affected the kick. And McLaren has taken the mark on the attacking 50. The umpire slips over. Some joy for the crowd. Well, that's the sort of pressure that's been the difference between the two sides. Cousins almost normally would run into space and had pressure put on him. Intended for Heatley. McIntosh, fingertips to it. Waiting behind Banfield. Got a hand pass away to Reed to Williams. Williams has the ball at left half back. Kicks it up towards the wing. In from the side. Hayes almost the good mark. Close to the boundary line. Donnelly finessing. Lost it. Comes back to Young. Young kicks down towards right half forward. Too tall down there for Heatley. Showing the recovery though. The goal kicker tries to slap at Goldwood and deliberates the call. Then it's just confirming that um, Scott Cummings is not injured. He's just sitting on the bench at the moment. Uh, a bit bewildered. He got on the phone with the coach. He's not injured. So McKenna's got the footy. Thanks, Barra. Pretty tough call. And Jason Heatley there. As the kick comes back towards the wing. Bounces off the chest of Ball. Harvey, in characteristic fashion, evades a few and then spots Walton. Not even a contest at the moment. Walton from 65 metres out. Mitchell will need to go. Well, it came behind. Here's a chance for Jones sliding in. Reed couldn't control it. Down goes Mitchell. Didn't appear to have the ball. Dragged out of it, Reed. Emerging with it, though, is Crabb. Breaks away in the opposite direction. Intelligent kick, too. He pulls it back towards the middle. Found Geary. Geary inside the centre square. Comes down towards half forward. It was a nice kick. Metropolis. He's about 75 metres from goal. Pretty open forward line. Kicks for space. Philip Matera and Burke. Philip Matera, part one of the puzzle complete. He got his man under the ball. He kicks from a sharp angle. Part two, Stafford. And I think that explains the mystery of why Scott Cummins is on the bench because uh, they just weren't getting it through down there when he was there. So they elected just to go with Matera one out against Nathan Burke and... Berkey, as you said earlier in the call, John is uh, is such a sensational player in the uh, scrimmage, but if you can get him up the ground and then sprint back, no one is going to stop Phil Matera. And certainly not Berkey's ageing legs. Forty-nine goals for the season now for Philip Matera. Gives him eight career goals against the Saints. Loves that situation, gets his man under the ball and leads back in the race. Now Thompson. Thompson and Everett, that combination dominating inside the centre square. Ball bounces inside the 50. It becomes a long field, attacking from half back all night. Jagovic kicks it towards the outer side. It ricochets off the leg of Shane Wakeland and goes across the boundary line. Let's just have a look here at, uh, well, what we got into Fraser Garrick there. He kicked uh, Guy McKenna in the head and then he pushed Glenn Jagovic out of the way. And we throw it. <laughs> Where's Scotty when you need him? Ball has it knocked away. Goes again. Tackle from behind by Thompson. Dragged down. But the appetite terrific from the Saints. Shane Wakeland looking for effort. Who knocks it on intelligently. They've got the numbers on the ground. McLaren worked out of it. Well played, Braun. Well played, Hayes. Kept it going. Goal with flicks it across towards support and Walton. Walton comes back to the middle and Harvey. Harvey goes looking for Mitchell. Similar scenario this one to the one we just saw at the other end. Mitchell gets behind the defence, pulls it back on the sharp angle. It was touched that time and across the line. Well, the Saints are just making all the right decisions. Their team football has been outstanding. Just some of the little tap-ons into space, in, into a teammate's advantage have been sensational and have been doing it all night and really catching the West Coast Eagles out. McIntosh. To McKenna, runs away from half back, kicks through the wing towards half forward. Donnelly interfered with, must get a kick. Andrew Donnelly, a West Australian who initially was drafted to the Swans, delisted, came back to Perth. Been a valuable player. Across the ball from 60 metres out, the high kick. They come from all directions, missed by Crabb. 
Philip Matera could have been pushed in the back there. And he's going to get the free. No, it's going to be a ball up. Umpire Allen only about 15 metres away. Down the back on the ground. We've got a bounce about 30 metres out from the Eagles attacking goal. Wakeland, Shane, brilliantly done. They've been wonderful in defence, that pair. Jones looking for Everett, improving tonight. Across it comes to Zilla, who kicks it up towards the wing. Braun hit the ball hard. Donnelly's on in the middle. He's got it now inside the centre square. Thought about it. Now he plays on. Kicks inside the 50, and Kemp kept his eye on the man kicking the ball and the footy itself. Went in behind his marker and has taken the mark and will kick from the 50. Yeah, just reads is better than uh, McLaren on this occasion, but Jay McLaren's at a big diet and also a pretty fair quarter with six possessions already, including three marks. Dean Kemp, who played his 200th game against the Saints back in round seven. It was a loss. He had a quiet day that day himself, 14 possessions. That was the Eagles' first loss. And Kemp, in uncharacteristic fashion, kicks the ball poorly. Yeah, just... Don't seem de you don't see Dean Kemp go for those real long kicks a lot. Generally, he's pinpointing the ball over 30 or 40 metres. That time, right on the 50, he had to go for the distance and sprayed it off the side of the boot. The margin is 57 points as Peckett breaks away from the back pocket. He kicks it up towards the wing. That's a clever kick, trying to get the ball to bounce out of bounds. Even cleverer now. It's gone out. I suppose those people who don't support either of these clubs, but who are trailing in the office tipping competition delighted the Desperates would have gone for the Saints tonight and they're looking good down behind Kemp Wooden run down from behind well almost that'll be a trip against Ryan he was a bit unlucky there and it's actually Des Ryan that's on Kemp not McLaren so here's Wooden and passes out wide to Jakovic. Jakovic forward of the wing, deliberately pops it down towards the attacking 50 and Gardner. Who kicked from about 52 metres out. What an amazing season when you think back for Tim Watson as Gardner run loads long towards full forward. Big pat down there. Over the top, one of the smaller players in it. Burt slapped it towards the pocket. Here's Cousins, who's booted two goals. Gets around White. He's run back out to the 50, though. Hand passes to Braun. Immediately under pressure. In goes Zilla. Claimed by White. The ball is still loose in there. The umpire lets them play. Down goes Crab. The ball goes back in. Cousins reaching over the top. Trying to wrench it out of there. Walton having none of it. And we've got a ball up. Everett's off the ground, but he's been a major influence tonight. You think back to the Gabba, where it started for Tim Watson this season. They were absolutely pumped up there. They turned things around. They got back on track after round 10 in third place and cruising. A lot of people liked them for the pennant. As the kick comes out from Young. And against the odds, he's going to finish the season, it would seem, with a big victory of his own. Albeit for nothing really other than for pride. Oh, but I think, Dennis, there'll be a lot uh, to be gained from this victory for the summer. They're just having a look at the way they're playing. The, the self-belief, I think, will return. Jankovic kicked it in only as far as Young, who kicks it out. In more ways than one. Then just Peter Everett off the ground having a spell. Very, very fatigued in this quarter. And uh, I don't think the Eagles are quite done with yet, though. I think they might be lifting a bit. Hmm. Keep us posted. 99 to 42. Just over seven minutes to go till three-quarter time. Kemp could have been taken high in there, and he'll get the free kick. Trying to force a passage. Just over seven minutes to go, as I mentioned. And they need... At least three goals, I'd say, the Eagles to have any chance at three-quarter time. Kick goes in intended for Metropolis. He missed it. Burke taken, but not before he got the hand pass away. Shane Wakeland swings it out very wide to accommodate Begley. He's marked it right half back. Harvey comes on the lead, just getting away from McKenna. They started virtually side by side and have the space of about 30 or 40 metres on a hard-searching run. Harvey got well clear and bounces the ball out of bounds. Just keeps going. Remarkable athlete. Boundary throw in. McIntosh in trouble. That's been the story of the night for these Eagles. Kemp picks it up towards the wing. Gardner's in front. Knocked away by Elliott. That's deliberate, I would have thought. 
Not this time. I mentioned before, tough, I thought, on Heatley. Right half forward, he was trying to knock it goal with that time. Elliot's sole ambition was to knock it out. Up he goes, backhands it down. Thompson shrugs a tackle, got his hands free, importantly. Gardner, still Gardner, well played, and again. Little decoy, kicks down yeah. towards half forward. White's got it, cruising past his cousins. White ignores that, kicks for space. Philip Matera, watch him turn. Yeah. Around he goes, Burke goes after him, not in time, like the roadrunner. He pulls it back, not sufficiently. They contest about five metres out. Free kick. Free kick is going to the Eagles and Fraser Geary. Five metres out. Well, you almost have to put that down. Well, I think you will have to put it down as a mistake to uh, Shane Wakeland. First one for the night from those pair. But Philip Matera, he's, he's almost started his turn before he takes possession of the footy, and he just does it so well. We've seen that before, haven't we? Fraser Geary gets the goal. Well, Philip Matera, he's certainly kept up his work rate up on the forward line that's really been struggling to function tonight. And the ball has been within his area. He's worked very hard. He's covered a fair bit of territory. He's set that goal up there by getting it deep in for Gehrig, who did pretty well there to get front spot and then try and hold it. Wakeland was under a lot of pressure and the arm was around the waist. And uh, you'd like to see more of it across the whole field by the West Coast Eagles. Some of that real desperation. Taking the new ball at the Wacker, or are we? Yes, umpire Scroop has a new footy. Lost the other one. Not a bad defensive ploy if you get to count them. Then I suppose the next card you play is hide the football. Although the Eagles got the last goal. Over the top, Elliot. This is Cousins. Hand passes out wide. Crab to Gardner. Well, the Eagles are looking better with Everett off the ground, I've got to say, as the kick comes inside the 50. Waiting down in front, it's Wakeland. Got a hand pass back towards the middle, taken by Young. Gets it wide to Elliott. Elliott from left half back, kicks it up towards the wing. It's a touch ball. Great courage by Thompson. He's taken by Jakovic, and the ball is jarred across the boundary line. Well, how about that by Thompson? Knows no other way. Yeah, he's a bit stiff there. It's really only the momentum of the mark that uh, carried him forward. He, uh, he gambled a little bit in playing on, and uh, he lost, but great, great mark. Hayes and Jankovic bustling. Meantime, Kemp comes over the top. Beveridge thumps it. Taken brilliantly by Cousins. Spins out of trouble. Two great evaders. One on one there. Harvey got a hand on him. Jankovic. Now Crab. Kemp close to the boundary line. Under pressure. Kicked to Daryl Wakeland. He plays on on his knees to Shane. And Shane kicks towards midfield. Zilla. Didn't mark it, but recovers pretty well. Goes through the centre square. Harrist kicks down towards the attacking 50. Mitchell has been lively. Out to Hayes. Oh, well played by Reed. Took care of business there. Chips it up towards the wing. Crab's got it. Just under five minutes till three-quarter time. Jackson Crab kicks it towards centre half forward. Intended for the leading white. Strong tackle applied on him. Got him down. Shane Wakeland goes in. Begley, who applied that tackle, quickly to his feet, there to assist a teammate in Knowles. who tied up Mitchell White. And the numbers have been key in the Saints' performance tonight. That's a throw, it would seem. The tackling from St Kilda, I'd love to see their tackle count tonight because the Eagles have not been able to find one ounce of space. Elliot, the backhander. Here's Mitchell White again. Back to goal. Brilliantly done. Jones knocked it down to accommodate Begley to Young. Little chip pass up to Harvey, who was flirting with going. Now he wants to go. The numbers have stormed forward. This is Ozzy Jones. Back towards the middle. How's that for a finish? hitley has got it just inside the 50. Way too easy. The Saints just looking very sharp. And uh, not a lot of pressure from the West Coast Eagles. They do look like a very tired side. Gavin Mitchell looks like he may come off for rest. He's uh, had a fair bit of cramp. The trainers have been working on him on the far side of the ground. He's up and jogging now, but coming straight off. Jason Hitley going at goal number five here. Just tailing away again and short off hands. Beveridge came in hard, keeps it in. Feeds a hand pass away to Knowles around the corner where Punder gets back. 
Makes the timely defensive mark. Goes across the goal face, a half volley. McIntosh back to work Punder, who clears the zone with a spiral, but that's an indication. It's three on one out on the wing, but Jakovic, the one, carries the day, and the crowd love it. Jakovic across the body to the middle. This could be a spark for the Eagles. Crab took it hard, kicks inside the 50, bounces away from Matera, though, out of bounds. That was the one they wanted. This St Kilda side, they're getting a bit tired. Everett's been rested, Mitchell's been rested, Ryan's been rested, and Walton's just gone back on after a rest. Bad news is they might be rested. <laughs> 99 to 48. Thrown in. It's done to the ball. Gearick comes behind. Wakeland slips a hand pass away. Scrambled forward by Zilla up towards the wing. Rintoul. Rintoul comes back towards the middle. A chance for umpire Scrip, but he did not take it. It's marked behind him by Jakovic. Jakovic to McKenna. McKenna can go wide with a hand pass and does. Here's Reed. He's forward at the wing now. Kicks down towards Mitchell White. Well, I think he was looking for White. It was a nondescript kick. Crashing in there is Elliott. Storming up was Matera. And the ball spills across the boundary line. It's just that passage of play across the ground. Didn't really set up any attacking, real attacking and positive move for the Eagles. They ended up just pushing themselves very wide and kicking to an, another nest of St Kilda players. Gehrig held on to. No free. Young. Harvey. Burke, too slippery that time. Well played, though, by Nathan Burke. Goes after it again. Found it on the ground. Is tied up. And the baller. Well, what a mon monumental task it's going to be for Mick Malthouse to get this side up again for next week. Or get him up this week. Certainly not up uh, from what we're seeing at the moment. The margin is 51 points. The Saints on top. They won't play in the finals, but big finish to their season. Thompson did well. Smothered the hand pass from Mitchell White. And the bats. Thompson 28 possessions now. Averaging 23. And that's up from 18 last season. Bounce about 40 metres out. They wrestle. Falls at their feet. It's in there somewhere. Bulldog to the ground is Kemp. Held to him. And another bounce. Thompson's season high this year, 32 possessions, round 15. There's certainly one player who's been working pretty hard again tonight, Dean Kemp. Across half forward with uh, the occasional run through on the ball. Battling his heart out. Backhanded down by Elliott, taken by Cousins, twisting, turning. Harvey tracking him, pulls it back to the middle and Gardner. Gardner from 75 metres out, long down towards Gehrig, who marks. <laughs> 40 seconds till three-quarter time. And this to get the margin under 50 points. Thanks to me, Watson, going past our commentary position. Fraser Gehrig has missed. Well, disappointing again. Result for the Eagles there, that uh, last shot of goal, but fought a little bit harder this quarter than the goals St Kilda have got have got very easily. The Eagles have battled out a lot harder this quarter. Actually had more of the ball through the midfield. Pretty even going inside their 50s, but not looking like cracking St Kilda at all. Young. Kicks outside the 50, over the top came Elliott, angles it towards the boundary line, good policy. Philip Matera is held to him by Shane Wakeland. Uh, they just stabilised the situation, uh, haven't they, John? But they're uh, so far behind on the scoreboard that it's almost impossible to see them kicking uh, 10 goals to nothing in the final term, which is what they'd need. Uh, and it looks like Michael Braun's in a bit of injury trouble as well. It's three-quarter time. Michael Braun certainly in a fair bit of pain. He's limping off towards, he was heading off towards the bench anyway when the siren went there. He is limping fairly badly. He certainly had his knee strapped up, strapped up for the majority of the year. He's looking at the other leg there, so maybe he's got a corky or something in that leg. Well, a tight term, that one. There's Braun's bandaged right knee. He's hobbling off the ground. 2-2, two -two, St Kilda in that corner. The West Coast Eagles, 2-1. So the margin just increased. It's 50 points at three-quarter time.
huge task confronting the West Coast Eagles here. St Kilda 59 is 7 7. But it is a long, long way back then and uh, a very tough order. The last quarter back to you. Thanks, Barra. So 20 minutes of football remaining for St Kilda in 1999. Most impressive tonight. We're up by 50 points starting the final turn. What can the West Coast Eagles muster as they roll towards the finals? Alongside the pack, it's Harvey. Floats a kick down towards half court. Good attempt at the mark down there by Knowles. Loose ball right on the 50. Spills across to Wooden. He's over it. Diving in there is Beveridge. And they tie it up about 45 metres out. Philip Reid indisposed. John, just having a look at Spider Everett. Uh, I reckon 80% of the times he's hit the ball behind him in centre bounces. And nobody's gone with the, uh, the St Kilda receiver. That time was Rob Harvey. Makes it too easy, doesn't it? That's where uh, the assistant coaches are the ones who should be watching those sort of things and letting the players know. He turns his body sideways and just flicks it behind him towards the outer wing. Thompson gives it to McLaren, who kicks it down towards the kickoff line. It pitches inside the square. Aussie Sockers off the ground. I think he socketed it. Against the goalpost, did he? No. Apparently it was just touched across the line. You were looking for an extension to the PB there, Demo. No, I was, as a matter of fact. Watch it again. Uh, didn't hit the post. It went up in the air and came down on the Eagles defender. That would have been the third time he would have struck the post. And again, he didn't, so don't worry about it. Rental towards midfield. White leads back in the race. Gehrig comes up, though, and gave it away. McLaren getting back in defence. Nicely done. Young to Harvey, enjoying this now, a bit more latitude. He's off the leash, he's cruising in midfield. Begley on the outer side, off a step. Thompson running hard down towards right half forward. 65 metres out, kicks towards the pocket. Wooden, no alternative. Thumps it away, out of bounds. A yeah, good spot by Joshy Wooden, and that does uh, make a statement. Definitely let them get an easy possession and uh, play the percentages. You can punch the ball and keep it out of bounds rather than punching it back into the corridor where it's still alive. Everett, clean possession, snaps, and I think he's got it. Great goal. Well, what a difference the big spider makes. He is one of the class acts of the competition when he's firing, and uh, he's just had one of those seasons that uh, every player has. He was, he's been up and down. He's had some big games. But uh, this season hasn't been one of his better ones. But tonight, he's That's been a star. Rumours uh, regarding Spider, is he, will he be at St Kilda next year? Well, according to their president during the week uh, on 3AW, he said absolutely certainty. Crazy to let him go. Such an influential player when he's on. And tonight, Everett's been on. There he is again, beaten this time by Gardner. Thompson over the ball though, hooks it to support. It scrambled forward by Jones. Now a chance for Harvey who got it from Begley. It comes out wider still. McLaren, he's on the wing, gets the hand pass away. Cranage on the ground now. Just inside the boundary line, hugs the boundary with a kick where Punter gets back and takes the mark. David were Punder. In front of a crowd of 24,642 tonight. Donnelly. This is Crab. Plays on. Smothered off the boot brilliantly by Beveridge. They'll come back to him as Krenich knocks it across. He's taken high. He'll get the free Luke Beveridge. Wasting no time. Plays on. This is McLaren. Feeds it inside. Pickett's got it now. They're toying with the West Coast Eagles. Long kick inside the 50. But back goes McKenna and takes a defiant defensive mark. McKenna, short. Morrison, he's in the true centre-half back position, chips it up towards midfield, awkward bounce there for Rintoul, lost it, away comes Harvey. Harvey looking to punish the Eagles, sets it up. Ozzy Jones from behind, couldn't hang on. Roving the pack there is Wooden to Donnelly. Donnelly goes out wide, this is Metropolis. He's at left half back, a couple of players down. Back near the full forward position. Meantime, on the outer side, Young comes up brandishing the footy. 
Ozzie Jones may have turned an ankle as he landed. Meantime, the kick from Young. Well played by Hayes. He looks a player. Feeds it back. Around the outer side. That was Knowles upended. Walton applies a tackle on Jakovic and the ball goes across the boundary line. Just a bit of cramp. Feel mm. the St Kilda players. Well, certainly Mitchell had a bad bout of cramp earlier. Banfield slips the hand pass away. Taken by Rintoul. Kicks inside the centre square. The mark is juggled there by Girick. So this trip has been a good one for St Kilda, it seems. Of course, one of their most disappointing losses early in the season against Fremantle at Subi. But generally, they've travelled west well. Harvey gets the hand pass away. Crab in trouble. Trying to go over the man coming at him. Lucky to get a second opportunity. Terrible kick. It wanders inside the 50. Missed there by Cousins. Well played by Young. It's going to be a free kick off the ball. A push in the back to McLaren. Wasting no time. Plays on to Burke. Burke kicks it towards the wing. Well, there's Knowles on his chest. Youngster of some promise comes back to the middle. Walton, we've liked his game. Throws it on the boot. Kicks inside the 50. Clears the pack. Jones has got the foot speed. Wooden's got the desperation. Well played by the defender. Gets it across to Ball. Ball jabs it back towards Banfield. Banfield's away. Around the outer side. Kicks towards half forward. Coming up is Cummings. And Cummings takes the mark. In fact, that clearing kick was made by Gardner just moments ago. He's back in defence now. And Mitchell White's got the footy right on the 50. Still going to be a testing kick for Mitchell White here, but Scotty Cummings having a lead a long way up the ground to get away from the shackles of Wakeland. Did that well, took the mark, found Mitchell White, but he's still probably too far out to score it. Not a lot of movement up on the Eagles forward line. What about the short term future of Peter Matera? Will he be available to uh, take on probably the Lions next week? I would think he would be, Jerry. Mitchell White from long range. Good effort. Fine kick. Goal. Excellent kick by Mitchell White. Yeah, Peter Matera, uh, they, when he initially did his hamstring they thought he would probably be back for this round and obviously you could still feel it during the week so they've left him out right. uh, you would expect then uh, he would almost be a certainty for next week I don't know how he's traveling with it certainly he will make a difference uh, coming to the side but with four weeks out how much very hard to pick eight seven plays 16 10 Everett and Gardner. Everett wins it down. Zilla brilliantly done. Thompson controls it well eventually. Hooks inside the 50. Donnelly goes across and takes the mark on his chest. A lot of the sting now gone out of this game. 106 to 55. This is Williams. He's at left half back. Williams goes for distance and a long kick too up towards half forward. Fraser Garrett couldn't hang on. Zilla. In the grasp, got the hand pass away. Pickett storms away. Long kick inside the attacking 50. Hayes going back. Donnelly ran into a dead end, supplied by Jones, but he's going to get a free kick. Player coach just having a word. No doubt in the kick, it was high. Crowd wanting 50. Donnelly out of defense. Nicely done, well weighted, just clearing Everett, marked by Williams. Williams at left half back, again trying to get distance on his kick. It goes out towards the outer side wing, and Fraser Gehrig takes a clever mark, just peeling back off the pack. Under 14 minutes till full time. Fraser Gehrig, outer side wing, goes down towards half forward. Good mark by Cummings, goalless tonight. Scott Cummings for space. Williams, who moments ago. Had the ball deep in defence. He's run hard to present himself. He'll kick a goal from about 45 metres out. Well, Andrew Williams is one of the young players that at the start of the season was playing so well for the West Coast Eagles. and Big learning curve for him because he's played a fair bit of this year. And there's no doubt that they learned the intensity of AFL football last more than the first six weeks. It goes all year. And he'll certainly go into uh, the next season a lot better prepared and 
mentally aware of how tough it is over the 22 weeks of the season. Just get the feeling on what we've seen. He's going to develop into a very good player. Williams kick. They'll contest about five metres out. Everett doing the smart thing, angling the fist back across the goal line. Just having a look at his arms. He's uh, obviously pretty keen on the old weights because uh, they're pretty solid arms for a young bloke, John. Yeah, the, there's no the Eagles boys do work very hard for Jim. He's probably had uh, a good two solid pre-seasons mm -hmm. and, and seasons of, uh, of weights now. Starting to show. Young pinpoints it. Thompson <laughs> ran out of bounds, did he? No, play on. He kicks it up towards the wing. Zilla controlled it well to Begley. Back to Zilla. Zilla feeds a long hand pass up towards the wing. This is McLaren. McLaren boots it down towards right half forward. Now Ozzy Jones with his man sprawled on the ground, 60 metres out, pulls it back to the middle waist of the kick. McIntosh, his dad was a star for the Saints. Played only just over 50 games, but the career stopped short by injury. Cousins, he got it from Morrison, he pulls it back towards the middle. Running back is Banfield, spots a man in the square, Philip Matera takes it low down, turns around and kicks a goal for the Eagles. Well, that was perhaps the Eagles' best transition all night. That was uh, just sensational. On the end of a poor Rosie Jones kick, uh, Ashley McIntosh brought it across to the other side of the ground, and then the pinpoint pass is evident. Yeah, good kick by Cousins there onto Banfield, running into the space. Nathan Burke caught a bit in between. It left Philip Matera a long way short. Couldn't quite make up the ground to put the pressure on Banfield. He was caught right in the middle of those two, and Philip Matera ends up with three goals. So the margin is 44 points. And the Saints, with 12 minutes remaining in their season, you wouldn't think that stop now. They can really have a strong hit out to the line because they're not playing next week, but the Eagles have other ideas. Cousins comes away, kicks it inside the 50. Cummings being chased by Darrell Wakeland, twisting, turning. Hand passes, makes it interesting for Williams, knocked away by Young. In goes Crabb, immediately tackled by Thompson and Young. Picked up by Thompson, well done, but he kicks it out of bounds on the full under pressure. A bit more pressure there by the Eagles players. See the stats there for Andrew Thompson, he's been very busy all night. So Williams, sharp angle, should get the distance. Philip Matera telling him to kick it long. And they're staying off Philip Matera. They're giving him a fair degree of space down there. The ball goes high. Gehrig takes the mark five metres out. Hand passes over the top. Turning around, Morrison kicks a goal. Maybe the Saints have switched off. Well, they were cruising to the line. Still got a fairly handy lead. The Eagles throwing something at them now. And going into this game, no one really gave the Eagles or well, St Kilda any chance of beating the Eagles going on, as we said earlier, last week's four. But St Kilda came out and threw it up. But if the Eagles can finish off with a little bit of run, that may help them going into the finals. You're looking for something. 16-10 plays 10-8. 11 and a half minutes to go. Everett and Gardner. Good bounce too. Everett knocks it down, taken high his cousins. He'll get the free kick. And they're doing far better now inside the centre square. No doubting that free. Ben Cousins comes out wide. Donnelly, he's been good back in defence and pushing up the ground, presenting. He's got it on the way. Mitchell White outnumbered but offers a lead up the ground. Intelligent footy. Plays on to Cousins inside the centre square. High ball. Wakeland worked out of it. Then Cummings dropped the mark. Thompson gives him a little bump as he went past. Banfield goes back to Matera. Pops it up though. Everett comes away. Kicks down towards half forward. Awkward one for Beveridge. Could have got a free kick. He was in fact given one. Advantage was paid. Hayes goes to Heatley. Heatley right on the 50. This will suit him from here. Long bomb. He's pulled it too far. Looking for the extra five metres on that one. This is to the left-hand side. Four goals, five to Jason Heatley tonight. Wouldn't have returned that, that type of return for a long time, I wouldn't think. 
normally well and truly on the more accurate side. There's Djakovic. So left half back. Short run is on. It's taken by McIntosh. McIntosh kicks it up towards the wing. Mitchell White again running hard. Gathers the bouncing ball. Feeds it back. Wooden missed it. Backed up by Djakovic. Djakovic with his left foot up towards the wing and Rintour. Plays on immediately. Comes across to Wooden. Confronted by Begley. Gets past him. Kicks it down towards half forward. McKenna works his way in front. Trenage goes after it. Showed a lot of courage. They scramble in there. Eventually it comes to Harvey. Philip Matero is battling hard, but he was outnumbered. Thompson comes away. Kicks it down towards right half forward. Jakovic, though, keeps it in. That's a good result for the Eagles. Pulls it back towards the middle. Wooden's got it now. Cross the ground. Metropolis. Beveridge bearing down. Almost got there. Missed out by a stride. Man on on the wing. That's Ball. He takes the mark. Plays on immediately. We're Punder. Tries to bounce it. The ground a little greasy. Put himself under pressure. High floating kick. Cummings comes over the top. Fraser Gehrig with him. And between the two of them, they've mangled it. It's out of bounds. Well, they ended up being the only two in the contest. So Fraser Gehrig got Ryan out of the contest. Cummings coming over the top and they messed it up between them. Throw in. Gehrig. Could have been held there. Cousins at the back of the pack. Well done by Ziller off the ground. There's Kraft paddling it towards the line. Keeps it in. Thompson. He's a willing worker. We're Punda going nowhere. Cousins. Thompson bounces to his feet just in time to get a hand on that and knock it across the line. And again, just the, the tackling from the St. Kilda players there. One, two from Aussie Jones. Tackle there. Ziller just keeping the Eagles under pressure every time they're trying to take possession of the football. Andrew Thompson has a personal best, 34 possessions. Hayes slips it away, taken by Young, boots it down towards half forward. Getting back in the race is Metropolis on his own defensive 50. Little chip out wide. Donnelly's got it. Thought about going. Doesn't. Now off a step, prods it back towards the middle. Morrison gets by Jones, goes looking for Cummings. Great courage shown there by Harvey going back, but not in time and Cummings has got it a chance to kick his first goal of the night sharp angle and he'll kick from right on the 50. Chad Morrison spent a fair bit of time on the bench tonight John where do you see his future as a player? Well probably uh, this year he hasn't stood up and played as well as they would have expected from him so I think he's he's got to aim to improve a fair bit next year in that age, age range where he should be starting to dominate some games for the Eagles. Cummings kicks the goal. It was a lovely kick. There's no doubt Chad Morris is probably one of the players that was expected to start to take on one of the key roles for the Eagles. He's been played a fair bit across the whole field this year, occasionally on the ball starting in the centre. A fair bit in the back line and uh, the odd run up forward as well. He is that versatile build of a player, and he should be able to play in any range of positions and do a really good job for the side. I think it's fair to say Scott Cummings is growing to dislike the Wakelands. He bitted only one goal against St Kilda back in round seven. His best effort against St Kilda, only three goals. As ball knocks it down. After it goes Banfield, Harvey slips it away. This is Knowles. Kicks towards centre half forward. Clever mark taken by Walton. He's a player, Walton. Yep. He's run about uh, 15 kilometres tonight, just uh, avoiding the issue. He had about eight, nine possessions a quarter time, seven possessions, I think it was, a quarter time. He's now up to 13. But in doing so, he has just run all over the park trying to take uh, Glenn Jakovic when he's been playing on him, which has been for the majority of the time away from the ball. Ben Walton then kicking at his second goal. 45 metres out, it's doing a little left to right, but I think it's OK, it's sweet, it's a goal. That just seems the way St Kilda have played tonight. Good team, disciplined football. Walton's obviously been given a big job to do, playing on Djakovic, and to play him in a specific way for the side, and he's done that to perfection really tonight. And on that occasion when the ball is coming in, he's managed to take a good grab against one of the strong spoilers in the competition. Finish off with a goal, two goals for the night. 
been a very good contributor yeah. for the Saints. Just playing out the string now. It's 17-11 to 11-8. St Kilda on top. Final term. Saturday night football from the Wacker. This spotter again, straight over the back. Knowles this time. Tumbles a kick forward. Morrison waits. Then breaks away. Well played. Down towards half forward. In front is Williams. Young is right there with him. Hacks it out of mid-air. Well, that's interesting. It goes down towards the dangerous Matera coming through his Ryan, though. Ryan heads for the boundary line and bounces it out. Some, some uh, news from the Eagles bench, Dan. It's a celebrity bench at the moment, too. Dean Kemp's there, Michael Gardner. Philip Reid has blurred vision, and Michael Braun has come back out. He's hurt his good knee. Thanks, Barra. Thompson. Young. Trying to take the shortest route home. Valuable acquisition from the Hawks, that young man. 39 points the margin. White, Thompson, close to the boundary line, Thompson after Cousins. Cousins comes back towards the middle and Rintoul, 55 metres out, Rintoul can kick it a long way. Down towards full forward, Gehrig had it, that it spilt out at the last possible moment. Gehrig, all sorts of concerns down there. Ryan driven into the ground by Scott Cummings. And the ball is out of bounds. Well, they've been just irresistible all night, St Kilda. All facets of the game, their ball handling and their pressure has been outstanding. Knowles gets it away. Burke around the boundary perfectly. It bounces out of bounds. Yeah, all their, even their execution out like that. Just Burke knew he's in a dangerous position in that forward pocket, get possession. Makes a good 40 metres and scrambles it out of bounds. Takes it out of that real danger zone. What a season for the Saints. Probably tonight's performance is going to open as many questions, pose as many as it's going to answer. On the outer side, Donnelly. Whoops, Cousins. Left it behind. Zilla. Well played by Zilla. Well played by Cousins. Wooden onto the loose ball. Taking a long time there. Eventually got the hand pass away. Scrambling after it, Donnelly. Wrestled down by Hayes. So the West Coast Eagles position in the top eight will be determined by Sydney's performance tomorrow. As Everett knocks it down, Thompson best on the ground by quite a margin. Dragged down. Cousins gets the crumb. Breaks away now. Through the centre square, kicks it down towards half foot. Philip Matera, grist for the mill there for Burke to slap it away. Chance for Rentoul. Burke follows up too strong, put Matera down. Hand passed across there to support Zilla. He bounces the ball to Cranage at close quarters. An awkward one for Ozzy Jones. Back to Walton. Walton goes in short, and the mark is taken by Beveridge. And on for the short one is Burke. He's run the full length of the ground. Sensing the danger though, McIntosh. Beveridge not really paying attention there. Close to the line, it's Jagovic. He goes across. He took a risk, did Burke. He peeled off Matera back in midfield and just head down the ground. Had the finish been right, he should have got the footy. He would have been disappointed too because, uh, well, he's Nathan Th he's, uh, Thompson giving the ball away. The penalty was paid. And Andrew uh, suffered that time, but he is, uh, as you said, Dennis, one of the best in the ground. But Berkey had about eight goes at getting that football for the goal and <laughs> finally missed it. Knowles throws it on the boot, gains about five metres. Donnelly goes down. Eventually it spills to Cousins, trying hard to Morrison, who breaks away from half back. Rintoul has to wait. Harvey, very good in that situation and underrated. It was a good tackle. Heatley back to Harvey. Pops it wide. McLaren measures his kick from 50. It looks pretty good. I think it's across the line. No. Ooh. Well, umpire saying touched. I think the only man who touched it was the man who marked it. That was Cranich. Watch it again. Well, he might have had two bites. It's about the only reason you would think he's just two, two bites. Little, two little bites. Great goal by the goal umpire. There's Crab. Hurriedly. And it was ill-advised as it turned out. Jones slaps it back. Thompson stood up in the tackle. Morrison off his step. Floats it down towards the wing. Reaching over the top is Elliott. It's going to be a free kick to Ball. The man in front. Hand on the shoulder. Just pops it further afield. Josh Wooden. 
three and a half minutes to go. Big victory by the Saints coming up. Here's Morrison. Good looking kick. On the lead was Geary. Couldn't complete the mark. It's picked up by Zilla. Feeds it back. Taken by Darrell Wakeland. Across the ground intended for Begley. Couldn't control it. Applied a good tackle though. Got Rintoul down. This is Geary deep in the pocket. He snaps and kicks a wonderful goal. Well, he can do the most unbelievable thing, Fraser Gehrig, and he uh, is really going to have to continue to develop as a player for the Eagles to uh, remain the strong side that they have been through the 90s. Because, uh, well, with the retirement of uh, a number of players like yourself, John, and then uh, the imminent retirement, I suppose, of a few other of the senior stars that have held them, uh, held sway during the 90s, it's this sort of guy that's got to stand up. Just over three minutes to go then, final term, and the Saints 17-12, the Eagles 12-8, centre square infringement, and it's a free kick going to the Eagles, to be taken by Jason Ball, who wants to bounce away, but he's told he can't. They have been called on the line closest to us, judging by the reaction there from Jones. Meantime, Metropolis forward of the wing. Kicks long down towards full fourth. Philip Matera camp behind. Burke knocks away. Chance for Donnelly. Burke kept coming. Took him to the ground. Gehrig. Philip Matera hard against the line. Spears the shot in. Right across the face. Out of bounds. On the full in the opposite pocket. Well, his man nearly kicked the goal, but uh, Nathan Burke, just the true professional, right to the finish. Only a couple of minutes to go in his season. Yet he's in there bumping and tackling and uh, doing everything that's made him a champion footballer. So summer will be far more palatable for Tim Watson and his team. Young, short one, Walton. Coming through as Begley, Cousins, Ryan, Zilla. And the kick out of defence from Begley is a high one. Wakeland was up. Not gone around the outer side by the Saints. Socket on this time. In other words, half forward. Cranich picked up the Wakeland soccer. Feeds it out wide to Hayes. Hayes kicks down towards the attacking 50. McKenna looking to spoil. Ozzie Jones the crumb from 50 out. Pulls it back. Bacon square. Friendly bounce. A goal to the Saints. Well, he's been trying all evening to get one, uh, Wusher. He's finally scored. Finally got one away from those goalposts. Especially the, as we always call them, the fattest goalposts in Australia. In the universe. In the universe. But a good snap there, right on the 50 metre line. Needed to have the good bounce, could have gone any way, straight through. Just makes it a good score line for St Kilda now. So two minutes to go. 18-12, 12-8. And probably a true reflection of the difference between these two teams tonight. 40 points. Fell at their feet that time, the Rucks. Knowles was dragged down. Wooden trampling his way through. Cousins emerges with it. Now he runs down towards centre half. What he wants to do all by himself, I think. Decides, well, I'm going to kick a goal here. The man on the line, though, Ryan, had other ideas. Knocked it towards the pocket. <laughs> Trying to hypnotise Philip Matera. The ball's out of bounds. Then it's not looking great for the Eagles on their bench either. Uh, David Wirapunda has limped off with a leg injury. I just saw Michael Braun go into the rooms looking very, very proppy his uh, left knee. He could be in doubt next week. And McIntosh is on one leg. Ball couldn't control it. Philip Matera's over it. Locked in there by Burke initially. Ball, Elliott, they all fall over. So, a troublesome week coming up for the West Coast Eagles. Their form is bad. Coming off a bad loss, going into the finals. Who knows where they'll finish up playing. And they've got injuries. Ball goes back. Couldn't control it. Elliott close to the line. Hand passes towards that line. Scrambled out of there by Mitchell White. Taken by Cummings. It was touched. The hand pass comes across from, I think it was Zilla. Or was it Begley? To a defender who kicked it towards the outer side. Matters not. Hayes drives it around the outer side wing. Over the top, Walton. A heavy collision by a couple of Eagles. Just what they don't need. A throw in. Just too easy, St Kilda. It's the way they get the Eagles under the ball. 
way they're running onto it just made it far too easy all night. Thompson, this is done from the outset, setting the standard. Begley to Cranage. Cranage 55 metres out, a centering kick. Morrison had to wait, cleared him. Here's Jones. Can he manufacture another one on the bounce? How will it go? Ooh, just wide. I'm not sure Metropolis hadn't worked out the angles pretty well there. The ball goes through for a behind. Just looking at the Saints, though, uh, John. They've had, uh, obviously, it's a disappointing season, but they've had a couple of guys uh, emerge this year. Uh, in particular, I think uh, Joe McLaren's taken his game to a new level. Lenny Hayes has been a good first-year player for them, and we've seen tonight Walton... Begley and also Cranage uh, and along and also Knowles uh, do some good stuff. Jankovic to Wooden who kicks through the centre square. Zilla leads back in the race out there, dives on top of it. Plenty of eagles around him, falling on top of him. Shane Wakeland, friendly fire. Ball up. Dying seconds of this one. In fact, there may be no more action. There's the sirens and Kilda finish on a high. Tim Watson. A look of satisfaction, certainly, after what's been a bleak season. And a bleak look after what started out as a very satisfying season. Greg Scroop wants the footy. Beveridge is not happy about something. Philip Reed's come back onto the ground, despite his blurred vision. Find a hand to shake, and that's good to see. Scott Cummings, the leading goal kicker in the competition, held to just one tonight. So he's going to win, I think, the goal kicking with 88. How many does Plugger have to kick tomorrow? Well, <laughs> that's a good point. I didn't say he will win. As we go <laughs> down to uh, Spider talking with Barra. Yes, my man of the match, Spider Everett. Uh, what a tremendous way to finish the year, Spide. Yeah, it was. Unfortunately, you know, we can't go on from here, but, uh, you know, we had to get out some pride and, uh, you know, I've had a bad year, you know, considering, uh, you know, some of the form I want to play, but uh, to finish with a good game, I suppose it's a positive for the year 2000. So that was the plan coming over here to give yourself something going into summer? Yeah, of course, you know, we, you know you've got a long, oh, short pre-season this year and, uh, you know, we've only got to look forward and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll watch the teams during the finals and uh, see what we've missed out on. But uh, to beat West Coast over here by 41 points is a, a fantastic effort by all the boys and it just shows them what they can do if they want to play football. It's been an amazing season for the Saints, hasn't it? A real up and down one. Oh, yeah, it's been a, a pretty tough one, pretty, uh, you know... We've just been up and down all year and, uh, you know, to finish off here with a win, at least we've got uh, some pride and, uh, you know, passion back into the side. Now, I've got to ask you, Spider, everyone back in Victoria will be watching. What will Spider Everett be doing next year? Who will you be playing for? No, I'm happy at the Saints. So I'll uh, a couple more years here for sure and uh, hopefully sign up for a few more. Well, everyone back, I'll be wrapped now, mate. Good on you. Congratulations yeah, no and uh, enjoy the night. Cheers. Thank you very much. We sure will. Thanks, That's Spide. Depending what WA's like. <laughs> that's, that's a good spot. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say good answer until he threw that out there. <laughs> they deserve to celebrate tonight. They finished their season in style. A lot of St Kilda supporters here in Western Australia, a bit like Essendon. I venture to say they're the most supported clubs here in Western Australia. Maybe Collingwood as well, but they've given good value when they've come across to the West, St Kilda. And tonight, no exception. Playing for pride, there's Robert Harvey, a lot of the ball. So what's new? Playing for pride, but they've done it well tonight. And they've dented the West Coast Eagles' hopes in the finals. The final scoreline, 18-13 to 12.